we're going to see, we're going to visit my friend Daniel, former friend Daniel. Friend, I don't know. Daniel and I are fine. We never had a falling out. Mr. Epsion still makes videos. <laughs> I've known Daniel for years. Like, I, Daniel and I have known each other since, like, 2010, 2012. I don't even know. Forever. And um, he makes, like, now, because I don't watch him anymore, but he makes, like, videos on, like, drama stuff. So he covered the Gabby Hanna stuff. And I figure, let's just fucking watch this shit. We'll summarize everything. He's doing a fundraiser for it. Um, help raise $1,000, you know, for it. They've already raised it, which is really great. But um, I don't love the way Daniel covers these things. Because though I know Daniel is a good person, uh, from what I've understood, I also know that he lives in a bubble that's, like, really performative to me. Like the Repzilla bubble, the Repsion bubble, the Amazing Atheist bubble, the um, Gabby Hanna, the I Care About Mental Health bubble, the like, it, not Atheist. Not, well, Mr. Atheist, well, Amazing Atheist kind of went on his own, so he doesn't count anymore. But that's how Daniel and I met, obviously, was during the Atheist days. I would say like, it's not even that. That's the wrong bubble. I take that back. It's just like, there's a specific bubble that's like modern. It is like Atheists, but they're they're not like... It's like they're liberals, but they're progressives, but they're not. But then they all they do is cover drama, and they act like they're better than everyone else. So anyways, it's that bubble. <laughs> well, let's watch this Gabby Hanna shit. This is an hour long. Fuck me. All these people have no idea what they're talking about. I have a video of her. In this is the guy who went into her house, Gabby's house, when I she was going I will post it directly after this one. Uh, and when she asked me to leave, I left voluntarily. Everything that happened in there was completely legal. There was nothing illegal about what I did. I was invited into a home and left when requested. If you clicked on this video expecting me to roast or make fun of Gabby, I am sorry to disappoint you, but that will not be happening in this video. If you want to see that happen, you can go to my episode one and episode two that I made last year. Um, they're very informational videos. They cover a lot of stuff that happened with drama and people she was involved with. This is a very, very serious. Miss P says it's the commentary bubble, but like it's even more than that. They particularly expose and tear apart creators so it's like i don't like it it's not like evan preach who's a commentary channel or even D destiny steven who's a commentary channel it's like i'm sorry to say it, but repsion and all of them they live in a very toxic fucking bubble so maybe it's commentary but it's toxic commentary i don't watch this shit it brings me down it makes me feel like shit it's like so negative. Yo, in the last 24 <laughs> hours, Gabby has uploaded over a oh hundred and- Thank you for so much for the super chat for Mind Shifter. Art isn't about what is or isn't, but the artist's ability to make the other conscious, others conscious of that which they would otherwise dismiss to their respective voids. Maybe, maybe. There's something to it that I I want to say. The art's also just like for per yeah. Okay, the bubble. Okay. Mm. Fifty TikToks. For those of you who don't know, she's been kind of just disappeared off of the internet and then randomly popped back up with a large spree of very concerning, um, scary, not an exaggeration TikToks of just complete tangents and, and rants that don't they're not scary she's just mentally ill don't make any correlation or any sense to one another and as of right now i have a total of 60 tiktoks downloaded that we're going to go through chronological oh my god order. all of them by the Daniel? end of this video it gets within the last two hours of me filming this uh it's been very 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 concerning and dangerous because she let a random person stranger into her house um we'll get to that I let strangers into my house all the time. Um, Zen Zen says, I unsubscribed from Repsion, Jacqueline, and the Amazing Atheist because it got redundant and miserable to me. It did. And I've met Jacqueline, who's very, very nice. Jacqueline Glenn, I worked with her at a conference, her and Blair and everybody, and they're very nice people. I think Jacqueline's probably been better, but Jacqueline got obsessed with that, that uh, um, her friend, uh, the girl who doesn't eat.
How could I forget her name? Eugenia, Eugenia, Eugenia. Coochie, Cooney, Cooney, and <laughs> that's what it is. Eugenia, bro, that was a toxic fucking, like toxic, toxic, Onision, toxic, I hate them all. Near the end toxic. of this video, however, a lot of her TikToks had copyright music, so I'm only using the ones where she goes on her rants without Good. that music in the background. Also in the right or left, I don't know which one, there is a <laughs> mental health fundraiser. I'm donating $100 to start out with this sponsor. I'd like to raise over $1,000 to this organization, I'm, I'm which helps really branch out and get people help who are in need of it and maybe right can't now. afford it. The money you donate on the right or left goes directly to the organization. I don't touch it. I'm starting off with donating $100 from the sponsor of today's video. So right. let's begin. So last night, I literally was given heaven. I got one day in heaven because I let go and I trusted God as hard as I could and I just let it happen and he gave me heaven and it was insane. It was everything they say and better. I could do whatever I wanted. And you know how I spent my night like for real on God? I had no idea what was coming. I just knew I had to do what felt right. So I went outside and I fucking screamed my fucking lungs out. The answers on how to save the world and how I felt in my backyard was that all my neighbors could hear me, but only from their own homes. And that I had the power to go and touch everybody I could that needed a hug and send them the love that I know exists. This is a great question and one I kind of get often. So I'm an artist, I'm a poet, I sing, I write. My main focus the last few years has been music. I also love painting, I love drawing, and my long-term goal is to be a public servant and philanthropist. All of this is hopefully leading to that. It feels like art is my avenue to save the world. Mothers are always- Why do we always wanna save everybody? Drives me fucking crazy, nobody wants me. Why do we always want to save everybody? 31 years old. She was born in 1991. Everybody always wants to save everyone. What you owe to humanity. Ugh, I hate this fucking narrative. So left to raise their babies alone when the father leaves. <sighs> it's almost like the mother's dependent on God to get them through. Okay, I could do this right now. Guys, if I literally just started going like, ah, like started screaming and like tucked down my top, I could literally just look like this in five seconds by acting. I know because when I was really manic and sick, I would have moments like that where I was just like, I would film videos and I'd be like, okay, now laugh and look crazy. And then I'd be like, now do this. But in the video, the audience member would have no clue that I was having this whole conversation with my head. And so like I, but, but it was partially mental illness that even gave me the idea to post it in the first place. I have a lot of old videos on the internet that's taken down now, but I mean like there's something in her behavior, which is like, yeah, yeah girl, I've been here too. get therapy, get the right kind of therapy. This girl could probably benefit from, some, benefit from some DBT. Everybody needs some DBT. But I, I don't think what she's doing right now, her body language is the insane thing. I think the idea of what's insane is that she keeps posting this thinking it's working. That's what's crazy. It's not the imagery. Lots of people do this though and act out and cause like controversy to get views. I love listening to Steve-O talk about this because Steve-O does these crazy stunts to get views and it's, insane like some people are like this is crazy it's not though it's really methodically thought out with gabby it's thought out but not fully and not efficiently in a way ah uh, yes miss Alyssa says a perfect it's not it's performative but it's not acting if that makes sense yes i agree i agree yes like it's not fake because she believes it totally so like it's that's what I mean like she's so when I like you know what I'm saying when I talk to people and I'm trying to understand where their logic sits I can talk to most people and see exactly where they're coming from but with her I don't think she's coming from anywhere I think she's a human without any values who's coming from a void space. So Gabby is so lost she has no reason why she's doing anything she's doing which is why it looks fake. But to her, it's a real thing she's feeling. So it's real, but it's not real, which is all why all of us go, this is fake. It's not fake. She's doing something. You know what I mean? And as a person that experiences mania, this just feels like a mania associated creative moment, which is why I will admit all my mania moments I thought were so genius. None of them were. Every moment when I thought, like literally when I'm manic, I'll like, I'll, I'll try to seek out control and I'll be like, art, 
or I'll blow up something. I'm like, look at this thing I just did. Or I'll shave all my hair off and I'm like, I'm in control. When you're really not, but you are because you just shaved your head. <gasps> I'm in control. Look at all I can do. I can shave my head if I want. But shaving your head in the first place is kind of crazy because you like your hair. What are you doing? <gasps> but I need control. Do you get what I'm saying? And that white man were like, uh-oh, black people are powerful. That's scary. And instead of saying, hey, black people, hey, Native American Indians, you guys seem to be really peaceful and happy on your land. We just came here on this boat because we didn't like our homeland. So now we're here in yours. It's ours now, baby. White people aren't evil. They just weren't born near Jesus. But I was, baby, I'm from Lebanon. Son of John, Hannah. Words have meaning. This whole time, this whole time, her name was Gabrielle Hannah, Angel Gabriel, descendant of St. John the Baptist of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Let's go! No one took the time. It's the second coming, baby. Believe me or don't. I've been crucified oh publicly for years. She's really working out. Spread the news or don't, Oh, baby. her titties are weird. Turns out the trauma queen was Jesus Christ in spirit, just like all of you. You don't believe me? Okay. Doing great, Gabby. Looks a lot like those possession movies. Oh, they are possessed by the whole- So one of the things that you're going to notice straight off the bat here is that she brings up in all these TikToks, but the stream- Doing great. Okay, so I saw- I did see that one. I did see that one on Twitter a second ago. Um... I mean, I kind of fuck with the energy, but the energy is so crazy. But she reminds me of like kind of the homeless people you see who kind of know what's going on, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, and also we're like, I'm, you know, Lebanese, Chaldean, we're basically cousins. Like, I get it. It's like they almost have the logic. Like they almost have it and then it misses. It's like, foo. It's kind of like a conspiracy theory. It's like, foo. It's like you almost had it and then it went out the window. It's kind of why, like, I don't know, bro. It does feel a lot like mania. Like, it looks a lot like my mania, except um, I cry a lot more with my mania and I tend to break things. But I always break things because I'm creating. Manic thoughts. Mm. Oh, Kind Gabby. of started it off is that she brings up black Ooh, wait, GK says, I think she has BPD. BPD, like borderline, BPD, like bipolar. Um, <clears throat> has Gabby have, like, does she have abandonment issues? I mean, she's Middle Eastern, so probably, right? We all do. And she's queer, isn't she? Is she queer? <gasps> is Gabby bisexual? Y'all, fill me in. She has said she was diagnosed with borderline. Wait, really? Then our girl just needs some DBT. Our girl just needs some DBT. Um, a girl needs some DBT. Oh, bipolar is her diagnosis, not borderline. Oh, bipolar was her diagnosis. So high highs, low lows. Interesting. And then you guys are saying she might have um, uh, ADHD as well. Oh, isn't she on ADHD meds? They can be abused and sometimes the outcome looks like this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't love it though. Babies uh, not having fathers uh, and how children are passing away and they're in poverty and they have nobody to help them and that how she is this religious martyr or she's somehow part of the Holy Spirit. She's been bring she brings up religion a lot as you're going to see here uh, combined with wanting to save the world and constantly reaffirming that she's her house is paid for, that she's mentally stable, that she... I will say my homie who had weed-induced psychosis, before they completely lost it into real psychosis, like they were on the verge and I, I felt it come out. I was like, you're acting really weird, my bro. And they were like, nah, bro, I'm gonna save the world and we're gonna save like these people and like I have all the answers for the whole universe. And I was like, what are we talking about? And like that's how I knew my friend was really sick because she just... She was saying things that she would never say. And I was like, this doesn't sound like you. This sound crazy. 
And then that's what it ended up being. She ended up going from pretty like crazy, but like to psychosis, psychosis where she didn't even recognize who I was. She went from literally knowing who I was and telling me she was going to save the world to not even recognizing me as a friend. And I was like, hi, it's me. And she's like, I just know you're scary looking. I don't know who you are. Like, so I am incredibly open to psychosis, mania being the issue with so much of this. That's why I don't really like when people are like, oh, her racism is showing. Under psychosis, under mania, not mania so much, but like I've seen people who have like, literally they're not in our reality and they will say things they never would say before. And since we're sponges and we take in all of the things we do, my theory is that when you're under psychosis, you like, you just start spitting, like you're talking in tongues almost. And that's what it sounds like. So they're saying things that like aren't even them. And you're like, what's up with you? Like, I need the person who's going to marry me to understand that like, I haven't had an episode in a while, but if I am manic, it's not me, this person sitting in front of you. It's like a Britney whose brain is like, it's like, you know, it's not me. So please don't punish me, okay, for the me that makes the decisions when she's borderline, right? And at the same time, because I'm just a self-harmer, it usually doesn't impact others. But you start thinking you can really save the world. And so it's kind of crazy. And that's why I always like get my like a little uncomfortable when people are like, we have to do this for humanity. I'm like, why? So even when Destiny, when I was questioning Steven earlier, I was asking him why, why humanity matters. Because I wonder why, and I know that's just me, like, again, I don't want to project onto Steven. But I always question when people start talking about saving people. Because it's just like, it's a little too crazy. But it's also the narrative we've been fed our whole lives. Steven and I grew up in the same bubbles, not really, but similar enough, where we were told we need to do great things for humanity. We need to be Martin Luther King and we need to have a dream. I think Gabby and other, like other people like Gabby, they internalize that one thing and then they hold on to it as the only thing that matters. But it's kind of insane. I think that's why I'm uncomfortable with even like people raising money. Because even our charities have been, how many documentaries on how charities are bullshit do we have to watch before we understand like, hey, I think we're not as efficient. But we are really good at pretending we're good at being good. America especially is obsessed with altruism. It's obsessed with looking like good people. But we aren't any more good than anyone else most of the time. I hate to say it, but we're just not. And so I don't like this idea that we all think we're good people for calling Gabby Hanna a racist or a bad person because she's manic. Like, how does that make us good? And at the same time, I don't think it's my obligation to care if Gabby ends up killing herself because Gabby has the right to live how she wants. But also, where is Gabby's mother? Where is her sister? Where are her brothers? Where is her father? Does she have relatives? Because I'm gonna be real, like my sister checks up on my shit. My friends check in. I have like Q watches all my shit. I have friends who could be like, Brittany, you're being super manic -y. Like you think Q's never sat me down during a call and said like, hey girl, I feel like today wasn't the day. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like I will take criticism from the people that I love because I need to know that I can trust them enough for me to feel safe enough to be like, okay, yeah, you're seeing me enough to know I'm off. But strangers on the internet, I wouldn't trust them to know me because you guys always get it fucking wrong. So Gabby isn't going to trust the fucking internet when you guys are all calling her a racist fucking bitch. You know what I mean? She doesn't have to trust you. None of you are safe. But you know who could be safe? Someone in her inner circle who she trusts. Does she have that? Does she have that? Because I think that is the difference between making it through and not. Sometimes. Sometimes. Because then there are other people that I've seen get every resource every doctor every privilege and they still choose the weirdest decisions like weirdest life paths so again I can't stop Gabby from being Gabby I believe in her agency but I also wonder if she would be different if she had a different environment <clears throat> discord says Gabby has a terrible relationship with her family and then some of you guys are saying that she has um uh Five siblings? Hallie says, I'm desperate to hear how you stopped self-harming. Ooh, did I stop? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if 
anyone ever stop self-harming because I think we all self-harm in different ways. They're just for different reasons. And they're like subconscious a lot of the time so like maybe you self-harm because you smoke a pack a day maybe you self-harm because you're not walking or you're eating too much or you're not bathing or something like that or maybe in Brittany's case you self-harm because you throw a tantrum and you're like I'm just not gonna eat how about that and then I don't eat all day and then I'm self-harming because I'm being stubborn and instead of just like forcing myself to eat something I starve myself instead right I think that's kind of a form of self-harm but I will say it's not an active form of self-harm. It's a defiant form of self-harm. And that's what I think Gabby's doing. I think she's defiantly self-harming, which is why she feels very secure in her decisions, which is why I have less sympathy for her because I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You're making a choice. Versus same with Eugenia Cooney, who I think like, I don't care that she self-harm, self-harms. She's had enough fucking resources, enough people. She could have made many more decisions, but she didn't. So in that case, I have less sympathy for Eugenia Cooney too. But other people, when you're ready, like you'll change when you're ready. You know what I'm saying? Or you won't, which is fine. Fine. But then that's what Gab, that's like, I think Gabby is sick. But I think Gabby's also making a choice. But I also think she's pretty sick. So, Yeah. She has everything she ever wants in life, that she's okay, that witches were burned, that believing in Jesus is the only way to save yourself, and that by believing in Jesus, everything can be better. And then she goes back to talking about black babies again. You know, I might just be smarter than you think. Imagine me, the mother of a king. I might just be humbler than you think. You don't know what I ask for in between each blink. Imagine what a world might be if Steve Jobs had a bee. What if a woman harnessed his power for humanity why is her audio sucky is she blocking it time. so again okay again again <laughs> this is i i'm gonna say this out loud y'all okay this i saw a lot in the feminist sjw bubbles sorry like all of seattle was variations of this Myself included, bitch. I was fucking there too, bitch. Like, that's what I'm saying. This is what we all fucking look like. So as I got better and I stopped, like, being like this, I was like, hey, I think we're all crazy. I think we're all crazy. And everyone's like, no, you're crazy. And then those same friends that I had, not all of them, obviously, a lot of them are really amazing. Some of them, like, did not understand this Britney and, like, can't be friends with her, which is fine. It's always fine, right? Consent is always fine. But this is what they all still look like to me, where I'm like, hey, are you done being crazy? And they're like, nope. And I'm like, okay. And like, this is like their life. Um, Discord said, what's her bag with black babies? Um, Gabby has a very weird relationship with black Americans. She has like, ever since she was on, um, what's that, Vine, she just feels like she gets black people. And in relation to black children, I think she knows how to save them as her narrative from black parents? I don't know. Gabby said a lot of weird things about black people, but I feel like a lot of it is like a conservative talking point too, where out of all the communities in America, it's clear to immigrants and people of other minority status that like black Americans got a really rough bag. <laughs> like they just have a harder thing going on. And I think a big part of it is because they don't have like that community aspect until recently, right? Isn't that like a big narrative? So maybe she's heard this, internalized it, and regurgitated it back in a way that makes sense to her brain when she's kind of woo-woo. Because this happened to me a lot. Like when I'm manic, I start feeling like, oh my God, minority communities just got to do this, bro. And oh my gosh, women just have to do this. And men just have to do this. You know, it's just like a lot of not understanding the nuance of it, but also kind of having enough truth in it where it sounds like a point, but isn't a point. Like it's, um, it's, it's like, why is this your point? Like, why are you even talking about this? Like, don't, this is not your bubble, Gabby. But like, you know what I mean? Like, she just, <laughs> okay, okay. She mad white babies are born bald. That's what I heard. I mean, <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Like, I don't know what Gabby's thing is. Like, I don't know why she is obsessed with black people. 
It's just weird. Um, Miss Alyssa says, absolutely hardcore SJW is delusional. It in, in it too long and you disconnect from reality altogether. You just go to your bubble. I heard, what did this progressive, oh, yeah, I heard a progressive content creator say something like, I don't know if I want to go to Pride this year. There's going to be a lot of cops. And I'm like, okay. Like strange, like weird. Oh, let me go back to that self-harm comment. Sorry. I think you get better with your harm. I think all of us experience self-harm because life is hard. And sometimes self-harm feels good. So I think some of us do that. Sometimes we work out too hard. We like hurt our bodies. We eat too many of too much of good things. We have too much sex. We consume too much porn. All of this is like a form of coping, right? Band-aid solutions. I think my form of self-harm that I don't do anymore is actually punishing myself, like hating on myself. I my intrusive thoughts are pretty loud. So if I have an intrusive thought that's like like sometimes I have an intrusive thought that's like Hey, Brittany, in case you hadn't realized it, you're bald, your teeth are gapped, and you're, you look like a witch. So just like kill yourself. I'm like, whoa, those are all true. <laughs> I don't know if I need to kill myself though. And then they're like, well, you should do something about this. Like punish yourself. Maybe you don't even deserve hair. And I'm like, well, that's a stupid thought. And then I think it though, like it's an intrusive thought that comes into my brain and instead of like maybe in the past I would have just shaved my head and like embraced the ugliness and maybe I would have done a photo shoot where I looked really like a witch or something. But now I'm just like, oh, that's just like a deep rooted insecurity that's like maybe me making me question like if I feel like a girl and I'm like fine and it's all fine. But I'm like, oh, okay. So then I just like whoop, move it out of my head. But before I think I would have dwelled on it. I probably would have like literally, like I said, I would have done like a photo shoot and been like, I feel like a beautiful woman. But like it's just like all performative like – coping mechanisms to help you feel less shitty but I think the best way to feel good about yourself is to actually radically accept that this is the body I was born in and that I am a product of my whole family lineage and that gap in my tooth that sometimes bothers me okay is something that all my aunties and cousins like a lot of them have and I'm like oh that's like our genetic line and oh look I look like my auntie and I look like my cousin and that's really nice and then I have to make a decision like I have to move myself through the logic but when you accept in your body that like we're just humans on a planet a lot of this becomes so insignificant in the micro like it's just like oh yeah that's what I look like and then you go back into the micro and then you you can play it any way you want to play it. But Gabby is playing it with like, I'm Lebanese. I'm connected to Christ. I'm connected to the holy people. I'm like, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that um, from rumor, apparently Elkush, where my mom and dad were, well, my mom was born, is apparently where the Garden of Eden was. So no offense, Gabby, move over. You're Lebanese. I think Adam and Eve was born where my mother was born. I don't actually think that. That's just something people think. But it's something I heard growing up. We can do that. We can make ourselves important and say, look, I'm connected to this and I'm connected to this. We're ultimately all connected to the ashes we will all be when we die. I say I'm going to save the world. You're not people gonna laugh at me. But this is mania. 1,000% I have, I don't even know what she's about to say. And I'm telling you just the, just the second I heard with her crying and her, I'm going to save the world. I've been here. I let me find my video. Let me find my old manic videos. Hold on. They tell us you can be anything you want, and oh. that we have this ha -ha. unending. I have made this video. I have made this video somewhere in my video. I have made this video somewhere. Fuck! I've said the same exact Power thing. That we don't know, and oh, that I... we can channel the Holy Spirit and do whatever we want. Manifest. Write it down. You can have anything. You can be the president of the United States. True. True. But why doesn't everybody else together? like me with me every single day manifest saving the world because all of us were delusional enough yes, yes, that yes. we could be the person to save the mm -hmm. world and then we can't we have to save ourselves to save each other and how are we saving ourselves if we don't believe in ourselves totally totally and I've the been power here, that god gave I've been us here. martin carl james okay. 50 no, years no. old shh, and his don't. wife michelle shh, 35 shh, shh. okay this is a video, fuck, I am ugly as shit here. So just like, okay, bear with me here. This is an old video I made. I'm not even gonna play the whole thing. This is, this video, I remember this day, bros. I was distraught as fuck. I made this video. 
I made this video like, and I, I was fucked for the whole day. I was fucked for the whole day. Okay, are you ready to hear this really shitty video? I'm gonna only show you like a second of it. But I could not get through a fucking article without bawling. This is, this is 2012, March. Oh my God, what? What? So if this is March of 2012, I moved to Seattle November of 2012. So in this video that I'm still living in, why does this feel like it shouldn't be 2012? But I guess it makes sense. I'm still living in California and I'm still a little conservative-ish. I'm still conservative, but I'm more liberal. Um, I'm still a virgin. I'm still working three jobs. And my family and I are on the in right now. I'm good with my family right now. Okay, we're not gonna play this whole video. Martin Carl Jennings, 50 years old, and I'm his wife Michelle, 35, both were found guilty of first-degree murder in 1996 of the death of their son, Arthur. Martin was sentenced to death in 1999. Michelle was eventually sentenced to 25 years to life. The record discloses sufficient evidence to support the jury's finding that the defendant was guilty of first-degree murder on each of these three theories, George wrote the opinion issued Thursday. The torture evidence included... Burning Arthur's hand on the stove, giving him black eyes, hitting him with a two by four, violently shaking, and banging Arthur's head against the wall. Okay. Kicking him in the midsection, duct taping his mouth and hands, smothering him, and hitting Arthur, the seven year old child, in the back of the head with a fireplace shovel. Okay, I go mad crazy. I'm going to cry if I watch this video. I can't. Look at me ugly crying, though. Okay, I this mean, video... Like, some people are really crazy. Like, I've got relatives I won't Look trust my, my siblings with because they're bad parents. They don't care about anyone but themselves. They're just bad influences. They're not safe. And I... And my siblings are like my kids, dude. I always tell people I... Oh it's our God. fault as adults that kids are growing up in a horrible society because we've become so selfish and just... She's stupid so and <laughs> ignorant and just we don't care about anyone but ourselves anymore including our children people neglect children all the time so <laughs> um sorry for the really depressing like last video for the weekend guys but this is my friday video and i will see you guys monday i thought i was really making a statement <laughs> I thought I was really making a statement and I was and it's kind of real but it's also kind of not real like this is what I mean I like legit was like lecturing the world about being bad parents as if me crying on the internet was gonna stop parents from abusing their children instead of laughing why don't you pray with me why don't you encourage me <laughs> everyone you want me to do something better than this okay do you guys get what I'm saying like this, this, uh, there's like, uh, there's just like something about a belief. Yeah. Oh my God. Miss Alyssa says, Brittany and Gabby out here saving all the babies. <laughs> it feels like that. It feels like you're saving the fucking world, but you're not, bitch. You're just crazy, bitch. You're just like crazy. And like, that's the thing is like, it's the most beautiful reason to be crazy, but it's fucking crazy. Like, I'm going to go around like saving like you know what i'm saying it's just not how the world it's not how it goes it's not how it goes you want bro. me to do something other than fight for his uh. kids my kids our kids what's better than this what is better than this tell me how do you want me to abuse my power so do something to do wait what does this say it says so do something to do better than this you are triggering people and projecting negativity. Don't invite this in your life again. Oh. How do you want me to abuse my power? How do you want me to abuse my power? How do you abuse your power? How do you use your voice? What do you talk about? I'm talking about dying homeless babies on the street. Cool, girl. Cool. What are you talking about? Where I'm so sorry, Discord. Yes. That is a Twilight t-shirt I was wearing in that video. Where should I spend my time? Is that negative to you? Ooh, Are the dying babies on the street negative to you? Am I projecting them and myself onto you? You're damn fucking right. 
That's my God-given right. You know what, I could've. That would've been a whole lot easier. I'm so grateful to my mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb. Jesus. 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 Holy Mary, mother of grace, pray oh God. for us sinners. Now, right now, and, oh, at the hour of our death, our death, our death. Amen. Be kind to you. Because people, humans, your brothers and sisters who have gone to hell and back, realize everybody wants to be Jesus and no one's brave enough to be the mother of God, her son. She sings all his praise. I don't know if this is psychosis, but what I do know, this is showing classic signs of being highly manic. And I've dealt with this personally in my own life. Somebody I know personally who is, um, she goes through what's called retrograde amnesia. And it's probably one of the scariest things I've ever seen because this person literally goes in and out of like consciousness. With ret retrograde amnesia, they can't remember what they say or do. I don't know if this is the particular case. I'm not here to diagnose. I'm just talking about my own personal experience of things that I've seen and dealt with personally. And that this is definitely mania. Being so manic that you jump from like sentence to sentence, topic to topic, not really making any sense of anything. And what's so concerning is that, as you're gonna see with more TikToks here, the constant reassurance is that I'm okay, everything's fine. When no normal average Joe, even people with usually mental health related issues, typically don't post 150 TikToks, screaming, singing, ranting, speaking gibberish. What you're about to see through the remainder of these TikToks is that every single audience member of fans of her, she's pretty much ostracized and attacked them. And I mean, everybody in all of these, there's so many TikToks, even as I'm making this video, there's more being posted right now. And she's going and responding to everything. Somebody leaves Ooh. a comment, she makes a whole video in response <laughs> to that one comment saying things and just is unhinged at this point, unhinged and it's scary. What if a witch is just a bitch with a W instead of a B? Because <laughs> what we need is a woman for we. <laughs> First of all, Marina and the Diamonds have a song. It's called, well, Marina has a song and it's called Man's World. And there is already a line about this. So don't try to take it from Marina. But I think this like idea that the world is like at fault or men are at fault or the patriarchy or feminism is like destroying you whether you're Sneeko or Gabby or anyone else get the fuck over yourselves you fucking pussies like at the end of the day you can keep blaming the world for your problems but like okay just like look in a mirror god damn god damn Gabby this is so cringe but it's cringe because it's like it's not even good I want it this is how I know she's crazy because if she was just running a business and trying to get views it would have been better done but this is just sad. So she's crazy. Because you, but she's, but I think she could stop it. I wonder, I want to know, has anyone, it's like Eugenia. How many times did people try to stop and help Eugenia? Like, at what point do we just got to let people be people? But at what point is it kind of crazy? Like, what Eugenia is doing to her body is insane. But but a big, but, but I, it's her body. Same with Gabby. Like, this is, this is so cringe and uncomfortable and so immature. But, like, that's how you know it's um, kind of crazy. You know the thought girl that Andrew Schultz was like mocking because she was like, don't objectify me. Here's a link to my OnlyFans. That is just, that's just a misalignment with your two realities that are very real bubbles. Gabby is having a misalignment with like literal existence. And that's what mental health is. Sometimes it's a dysregulation with literal reality instead of just like bubble realities. So you know how I talk to like, I say like religious people can be very introspective. Like there are very introspective twos, like incredibly smart and wise and way smarter than I am twos. They aren't, they might be people who live in different bubbles and live realities than me, but they can still be wiser and smarter than I am. And they can be much more sane than Gabby is. Like even if like people who believe in God, which is sort of insane, is also not insane. But I think you can be an insane person who believes in God or you can be a sane person who believes in God. I think Gabby is insane. And so whatever she believes is by proxy insane. <laughs> so this is my book of secrets and I'm going to read you a spell. Don't worry, you can never be cursed by somebody because you're protected by God as long as you ask for it. 8, 15, 22. August 15th, 2022. God, thank you for trusting me with your love. Please continue to bless me with clarity, humility, strength, compassion, kindness, and- Why is she so fucking underweight in this? She crazy underweight in this or am I crazy? Intelligence, discernment, knowledge, and grace. Please keep me focused and honest, patient, and wise. Witchcraft! <laughs> Up until yesterday, I wasn't really online for a minute. Some people were concerned about where I was. Babe, did you care to ask me where I was or- 
I'm going to say something out loud that I, in any other circumstance, no, I would say it too. Listen, I'm going to say something. I just want to say something to you guys, but don't tell anyone else, okay? This is just between us. And I'm very, I understand I'm coming from a place of privilege. Because I have very calcified breasts, so they stay actually pretty perky. Like, I'm not wearing a bra, and they're sagging. But I have, like, perky breasts, and I'm, like, older than her. You know if you're a woman with her kind of boobs? All boobs are good boobs. I love all boobs. Her boobs are the kind of boobs. They're saggy boobs, and they're long. So why wouldn't you wear something, unless you like that aesthetic, which I don't, but it's fine if you do. A lot of people rock it. Why wouldn't you encourage your boobs to be perkier? Because perky boobs are aesthetically pleasing. Are less perky boobs aesthetically pleasing? Or am I just being misandrist? I just don't get it. Like, I want my saggy boob girls to explain to me why the aesthetic is hot. But it's not my favorite. Don't cancel me. It's just I don't get it. Like, I have saggy, like, but I'm, you know, like, why do her boobs... And then they just, like, there's, because they're so not dense, like, they just, okay? So, like, why? I'm sorry, like, somebody please, I know, I'm being such a fucking hater. Uh, a Discord, of course, Brittany's focusing on her boobs. I'm sorry! I'm pretty gay. And I just want to know, because all boobs are, I love boobs, okay? Small boobs, big boobs, saggy boobs, boobs that go like this, boobs that, it's all great. But saggy long boob, is this an aesthetic that people are vibing with? Because, like, she likes to show them off. You're judging me like you're... Which is fine. I just want to know from an analytical perspective, not an emotional one. Why? Daddy does to you. Like your mommy does to you. Did you ask any questions of the woman who literally has everything she wants? Who is trying to encourage others to harness the power she clearly has? Because, honey, I've literally gotten everything I've ever asked for. I am so powerful. I've been sitting in a literal fucking Ooh. fortress. I like this lingerie, sh blah, 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 though. Where did she buy it? I want to buy it for myself right now. Ooh, I like this look, though. This robe and, like, lingerie piece. Super cute, Gab. I live in a castle. How about <sighs> instead of assuming you take your own advice? Why don't we all, actually? You inspired me today, oh, Angel. Thank you. I'm going to do something good today. I love you. Mm. She said it. On the right. Oh, right. It's all going to be all right. Praise be. It's all going to be all right. My poor, sweet infant Jesus. It's all going to be all right. Oh, wait. He left the prodigal son. All right. Good morning, everyone. She's still here. She's still having fun. Great. Um, I'm just trying to get people to care about the starving babies on the street. And if I have to... What, what does she do? Uh, with the starving babies on the street, does she eat them? Does she eat the babies? Scream and shout every day for you to give a fuck to. I will. I'm exhausted, by the way. I've been doing this for decades because they are my problem. And they're your problem. They're our problem. Did she, if you're willing to turn a blind eye to starving homeless babies because you're that selfish, you're... I do it. I do it every day. I'm doing it right now. What should I eat today as homeless babies starve on the streets? Hmm. Everyone does it, Gabby. Everyone's doing it right now. You're doing it right now. That's why it's mania. This is why it's mania. This is why it's crazy because we're all doing that right now not a good person alice it's giving me downward spiral <laughs> you're not a good person you might you're not a bad person but you're not do you know why it's scary especially on tiktok i don't know if you guys are familiar with how tiktok is but on tiktok there is this glamour glamour glamorization this uplifting idea that if you have disorders or you are struggling with mental health, and it's this cool and quirky thing to have, I'm going to post about it on TikTok. I'm not going to seek a professional diagnosis or anything of that li of that likeness, and I'm just going to say that I think I have this. It's hip and trendy, and I'm not saying that's what's happening with Gabby Hanna at all. I'm just saying this is a really big thing on TikTok, and because it's so large... And
Okay, wait. Miss Alyssa says she continues to act this way because she's getting something out of it. For sure. I wish she would just hit rock bottom and change, but she won't with all this attention. I disagree. I don't think the attention... I, I don't think she... I don't know if people like Gabby hit rock bottoms. So I have this new theory too of like what is someone's rock bottom? You know what I mean? Like what is somebody's actual rock bottom? Because I've seen some people be homeless, take drugs, like blah, 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 blah. Not their rock bottom. So what is what is Gabby's rock bottom even look like? Because it can't look like no views. It can't look like too many views. It can't be fame. It can't be not fame. Um, it can't be like a mental illness or not a mental illness. What is it, so for me, rock bottom was getting fired. Because I was like, oh my God. But then I had another rock bottom relationshipally. Because I have rock bottoms associated with all the different Britney. So there's Britney who works, Britney who loves, Britney who's a daughter, Britney who's a sister. Okay, I've hit rock bottoms in all different ways with all different ways in Britney. So in what different ways of Gabby is Gabby going to hit that rock bottom? Because in this state of being, she can't even be reasoned with. She needs to be loved and needs to be quiet and she needs to get out of this state of mind. But she also needs to be taking care of her body. That's why I say be a whole human being. You got to know your whole human being status. How are you with your health, your finances, your spiritual health? You know what I mean? Hmm. Like, okay, you know how we were talking in Discord? We had this really great 101, um, our 101 show. We do once a month at the end of the month on Saturdays. We did, um, someone asked a really great question about Shia LaBeouf and whether or not Shia's recent conversion to Catholicism. Ooh, we're going to watch the... I can't watch it today. I'm running out of time. On Friday, we'll try to watch the Bishop Barron if we have time, though, because I don't know. We'll see. I want to watch the Bishop Barron interview with Shia, just like Catholic, former Catholic to Catholic, you know. But is Shia's new turn of leaf a conversion for realsy realsies? Or is it just something he's doing to promote the movie? Is it something he's doing to promote his life? Is it something he's doing to save face? Um, Andrew Tate, you know, is his charities for women just a safety net for when he gets fucked over by the cancel culture? Is Gabby's mania um, comforting to her because it keeps her relevant? Or is it something that she's slipping into and then while she's in it, she feels like she's relevant? I just want to know, like, what life has to look like for certain people for people to change. And that's why I say when people tell me they've had an ego death, I want to see a change in your life. You know, when you tell me you've changed, I want to see it reflected in your actions. So, and I want it to be like a real change. It's really hard. Hmm. And ingrained on that platform. One of the reasons is that because Gabby Hanna has such a large audience, it can definitely have people on the outside look at it and say, look at how many views she's getting. Some of these TikToks have 250,000, a couple of them a half so, a million. But on average, they're getting sorry, every TikTok's getting between 80 to 150,000 views per TikTok. And a lot of people are dismissing Gabby Hanna as saying that she's doing this for attention. And I'm sorry, I disagree with you. I don't think Gabby Hanna is doing this for attention. I think that's a cop out response to people who are really mentally unwell that need help. Do some people do things for attention with disorders and mental health related issues? Absolutely. I'm not saying that one bad apple is everybody guilty of the same behavior. What I'm saying that I truly don't believe that this is doing be done for attention. I don't believe this is elaborate troll. This is somebody who is not mentally well, and I don't think that making videos making fun of her necessarily contributes to anything other than just exploiting and taking advantage of this person. You're so someone said at least 100 million views on her TikToks, but you know what's crazy is it doesn't matter. I think Daniel and I, because we're content creators, maybe we're like, but this isn't good, dude. Like, this isn't good publicity. This isn't what a sane content creator who's trying to be successful in business would do. This is something a manic content creator who thinks this is a good idea would do. Like, do you guys understand the difference? Like, can we all understand the difference? There are things you do when you act out in your, like Britney Spears is 1000% fucking sick. Britney Spears is 1000% mentally unstable. 1000 fucking percent. When she posts those sexy posts on, on Instagram, she is not in her right mind, but she is in her coming out of her mania stage. She's doing anything to grasp for control and power because she hasn't had any. But Britney Spears is sick. That woman, I would not leave her alone with my children. I also wouldn't leave my kids alone with Gabby. You know what I mean? Because they're obviously sick. But do they still deserve, well, Britney I'm more of a fan of because I have like a love for her. Do I want Britney to get better? Yes. Do I want her out of her conservatorship? Yes. Do I want her away from her fucking parents? Yes. Obviously her parents were not helpful. I, if she, her parents and those people who, ha, who were in her life, if they were helpful, she wouldn't have been so sick. I think Britney is sick.
because of her environment, but also like the wrong doctors, the wrong medical care. She is in her 40s. We're dealing with an older millennial. We're dealing with my own parents don't believe in my borderline diagnosis. I have to take care of my borderline alone. Like, I mean, my some of my siblings who understand something's wrong, that's very helpful. But like, um, I don't have like a parents, like adults who are more adult than I am, blah, 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 who like can help me. So I have to do it myself, right? So same with Britney Spears. She doesn't have parents who actually value her sanity enough to help her directly. They only know how to help in a bullshit way, okay? Gabby, obviously the same thing to some extent. But I will tell you this. My parents, because they don't believe in my borderline, wouldn't have been the people who would have called me to get off the internet. It was my sister or it was my friends who were like, hey girl, loved your video, but kind of crazy. And I'm like, oh. And again, they let me be manic. They let me be suicidal. They let me go through my moments until I could help myself and get myself to therapy, which I didn't even do completely on my own. My ex got me into therapy. And then I got better because I continued going to therapy. But therapy also made it so I abandoned the life that I had had before and I did a different thing. So I think what's scary about getting better is that you kind of have to abandon. And I've said, I'm so sorry to repeat myself so many fucking times, but that Bobby Lee and Whitney Cummings podcast they did about like being in their 50s, 40s and 50s and not being comfortable giving, getting rid of or healing their mental illnesses because who am I if I'm not mentally ill? Yep. Yeah. That is a question we all, well, we all have asked ourselves when we've been making really shitty decisions with our bodies, our minds, and our spaces. Who am I if I'm not this fucked up person? For Gabby, I don't think she knows. And because she doesn't know, she can't get better. Because Britney Spears doesn't know who she is unless she's crazy Britney Spears, it's hard to get better. Your own personal vendetta and gain because she has been controversial or terrible person in the past. Regardless of how bad somebody may or may not be, if they are mentally unwell, I will always want them to seek treatment and get the proper help that they deserve. Now, naturally, because so many people are concerned of Gabby Hanna, um, her sister actually replied to several comments on her own Insta um, oh, TikTok account oh, saying that they've done everything they possibly can to help her and that their own family members of Gabby Hanna are concerned themselves. And it only seems to be escalating. So, also, Wait. special thanks to the sponsor of the channel today, Vance Wait. Global, which I'll be donating. Psh, that didn't stay on the screen nearly long enough, Repsion. How am I supposed to fucking see this shit? Rose! It contributes to anything other than just exploiting and taking advantage of this person for your own personal vendetta and gain because she has been controversial or Where terrible person in the past. Regardless of how bad somebody may or may not be, if they are mentally unwell, I will always want them to seek treatment and get the proper help that they deserve. Now, naturally, because so many people are concerned of Gabby Hanna, um, her sister actually replied to several comments on her- Okay. This video was posted and filmed, wait, this video was filmed and posted a full day before anything was happening or at least before we were aware. We are all in PA and she's in LA. We are doing what we can, what can be done from here. At the end of the day, you are all strangers on the internet. It's none of your business regardless. Level of concern, obviously we're aware and doing what we can. She's an adult and I'm 20 years old on the other side of the country. This is exactly what happens though. Like um, we all have people in our family that I look at, I'm like, why are you doing this? And they're just like, because I want to. And I'm like, it's kind of crazy. And they're like, yep. And I'm like, okay. Like, what do you want us to do? Like, what can we all do? Because even though I think Gabby needs help, I think the agency she has is to get better, but she's not willing to do it yet. And so I think that anyone trying to help her would probably make her do the opposite. But then being alone and isolated would be very difficult. See, I don't know Gabby like this. Like, I will tell you this, though. When shit like this happens to my inner circle or in the vicinity of my inner circle, like people I'm close to, um, I am always grateful when strangers don't get fucking involved because none of you know anything. So I will say that I agree with her sister here. If you're not in the immediate circle, if you do not live with this human, I don't think our opinions matter. And I will say that we're all probably wrong in how we want to help Gabby because I don't think we can know how to help her unless we know her. But I think that realistically, when Gabby's ready, she'll help herself. Her own Insta um, TikTok account saying that they've done everything they possibly can to help her and that their own family members of Gabby Hanna are concerned themselves. It only seems to be escalating. So also special thanks to the sponsor of the channel today, Vance Global, which I'll be donating. 
being part of my payment to a mental health charity. Vance Global specializes in CBD, TH, Delta 8, organic biodegradable smokes. Now, if inhaling things is not your preference, it's they have not. CBD gummies brand new, Delta nice. 8 gummies, and T. Disappoint. Please click. Instead of always fucking attacking she to hate a fucking woman. Some serious relaxation, calmness, and pain relief. Hmm, 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 collectively, collectively. Look what the internet did collectively to hate a fucking woman for no fucking reason other than fun. Okay, Look what we are capable of collectively if we would remember no. we instead of always fucking attacking she. God, God, God. He parted us like the fucking sea. And now he sees red. He sees red. She. So many people who actually don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves, regardless of how hard they've been lying to themselves for a very long time, are so concerned for me because I'm manic, right? As I sit in my cozy private loft on top of my house, enjoying the sunset, sitting with my cats as my cleaner cleans up the dishes. Later, we'll have some breakfast I'll cook for her. And then someone's coming over so we can plan, plan, plan. We get to plan and pray in my garden, my literal garden. It's overflowing with lavenders, lavenders. <laughs> there are a lot of lavenders. Jasmine, bougainvillea of many colors, so many roses. My home is beautiful. I get to come home after working really, really. This is like the girls. No, this is like the people that are like, I've struggled all my life with my body, but now I love myself. And it's like, I've never loved myself like this before. And I just like really love myself. As they're like purging in the bathroom. This is sad. Really, really hard every day because that's what I wanted. I chose, I chose when I was a little girl. I said, I, I, okay. I will dedicate my life to saving the babies of the world who don't have homes. And then when God decides that I get to have the love of my life and have my own. Okay, 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 okay. But like, hear me out. Hear me out. Does she have an organization? Do we all know if Gabby has like a orphanage or something? Does she do something with babies directly? What's her thing? You know what I mean? What's her thing? Own children. I will. I have never been in a rush to get married and have children. Because there are so many. Isn't Gabby always in a relationship? Any that already need us. Do you ever wonder why nuns or Mother Teresa never get married, never have kids? Because they're not fucking selfish. It's not selfish to want kids. That's our instinct to procreate. But some of us have a higher calling. Some of us were blessed with visions. Some of us get blessed to see our vision. And then we get to share our vision with the world. Does she mean real vision? Like, does she mean like I see things vision? This is, this might be, this is like hardcore mania, most likely, maybe. Maybe psychosis, I don't know, but this is not normal. That's too bad. I don't think she's dangerous, which is the difference. I don't care that she's on TikTok. I don't think any of you pussies who are getting triggered by her, sit the fuck down and go to DBT or therapy yourself. Like, leave Gabby alone. This doesn't bother me. Gabby being manic on the internet is great. People should see what mental illness looks like. But also how it can be unlikable. Admit it. You hate the fucking mentally ill. Because she's annoying, isn't she? She's fucking annoying. The mentally ill are fucking annoying. And this is what it is, baby. All the mentally ill people I've had to deal with, myself included, they are the most argumentative and stubborn humans. And they are also very good at making their own choices. And they're very fucking good at giving you a reason why. Even if the reason is visions. Yeah, Bryson says some of us have a higher calling, like Steven, who's going to change the world. His, what he owes to humanity. I'm just kidding. I don't mean to mock my friend, but like, okay. <laughs> Um, this is, yeah, this is funny to me. This is like a little funny that, I think it's funny that people are reacting to her like, you're causing harm. <clears throat> she ain't hurting me, but she might be hurting you guys, I guess. I mean, how can this hurt you? That's what I'm saying. Mentally ill people aren't dangerous. They're just dangerous to themselves. Well, they're sometimes dangerous to other people. They might stab you. But this, this is like just put, posting a TikTok. I don't know that I care. I just feel bad that like this is her life decisions, I guess. I don't know. And we fight every day to save because we have a vision. We want to share our vision with you, with us. I'm good, girl. <laughs> I'm good. 
Open your eyes. I'm a good girl. <laughs> oh. I see one Mother, of these help them. Cure the blind. Trust me, Gabby, my eyes are very open along with my ears. And personally, I would rather adopt. It's a pretty big privilege to have a really nice house and be able to go out in your garden, smell the lavender, much less even having a housemaid. Man, I've never had a housemaid in my entire life. But usually when somebody is talking about being humble, they're not usually listing off things in the luxury of living your house paid off, a fancy garden, fancy housemaid, doing all your cleaning. Humbleness is one thing, but you also have to acknowledge that the privilege you have that a lot of people don't. And I'm going to be that person. No, I think she was doing that. I I heard that message as her saying, I'm grateful. I thought she was trying to be grateful. I'm grateful for my car. I'm grateful for my garden. I'm grateful, grateful. I thought she was doing her, her um, I'm like grateful. So, you know, I'm going to get a lot of slack for this, but YouTube is a pretty damn easy job. Yes, there are pros and cons of things. Obviously, you have a lot of weirdos, invasive people who try to come into your house and dox it you, find your location, show up at your person. house. But in terms of being able to sit in the luxury of your own home, not mm -hmm. go out to work, driving every single day, five days a week, your life, Gabby, isn't hard. What I think is hard in this day and age is getting proper mental health education and getting proper treatment for whatever someone is experiencing having whatever disorder they have. At least in America, if you're not low income in my state, health insurance is three to four hundred dollars a month unless you have a job that offers it. And even then, certain jobs around my state don't offer really good health benefits. My father had his stroke take him seven miles to the hospital. It costs six thousand dollars for a seven mile um ambulance ride mm -hmm. right i also don't, don't think it's right ambulance. to Dive. start attacking people who want kids Very or who don't expensive. want kids and labeling them as selfish that's just my opinion it's not relevant pretty worthless super selfish to have kids you should definitely have them i used every single resource that was given to me and that's why i am so successful when i say successful i'm not talking about my job I retired at 30 just like I said I was going to when I wrote it in my journal as a fucking teenager. Ah, praise Jesus. We get everything we want. We get everything we want. My plan was to do everything in my 20s so I can enjoy the second half of my life and dedicate it to saving the second half of your life. Girl, you're only going to be 40, 50. I'm gonna live till 100, so I got problems. I'm not even in the second part of my life. World instead of myself. <laughs> Open your eyes. She's God crazy. has blessed me because I made all the right wishes. This feels fucked up watching a really fucked up sick person. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Well, oh. I, t I mean, I totally get it. I mean, I can't even ma girl. I know. I know, girl, I know. <laughs> and now it's my burden to help you ungrateful. <laughs> you are my cross to bear. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> And I still have to help you. <sighs> um, but yeah, I used all my resources. And um, that's why my life is fucking awesome. And you guys all have the power to also make your lives fucking awesome. But I have to teach you and other people have to teach you. It's not like I'm alone in this. <laughs> it's not like I'm like the only person on the planet that has superpowers. What if I told you we all do? What if I told you that collectively? Oh, this thing that people keep talking about, this collective conscious thing. Oh, it's real? Or is it just something fun? Is the simulation theory just so fun to talk about with my buddies? Because I don't actually want to get that deep into it because I'm scared of what that means. All these theories mean the same thing. All of them. That there is something greater that we don't know and that we don't have control. Can we just call it God? You don't have to. You really don't. I choose to because it's the language that people understand. Otherwise, we start calling it the simulation theory. Because that puts us, man, kind of back in control. We have to keep rewriting history even though they already told us. You keep renaming the same shit. They already told us. There's a greater power than us that is controlling everything. Aliens, the simulation theory, God, the universe, karma. They already told us. You can stop guessing. We have the tree of knowledge. And they said, eat as much as you want. Eat as much as you want. Why aren't you finishing the meal mother gave you, you ungrateful children? <laughs> There's something interesting about fear. Um, for example. This is why I don't talk to Anna. Anna's like, certain people are just crazy.
Sorry. I know I talk woo-woo. I know I got some weird language. But this is just unhinged. This is just silly. Like, this isn't real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, is Trisha Paytas more, Trisha Paytas is more sane than this, right? We, Trisha is much more sane than this. Like, she's playing just like, Trisha's playing a much more of a game. I think Trisha has borderline. I do. In narcissism. Um, but she's, okay, Reed said, girl, nobody understands you. No, that's not true, right? Like, obviously. Plenty of people can say what I'm saying in a different way. Steven said it today. Steven tried so hard not to use the word bubble. He's like, maybe there's all these puddles. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> just like bubble. Like, you know what I mean? Or just like cultural, like, background. Look at Steven literally trying not to use my language because he goes, well, you mean something else by bubble. No, I fucking don't, you fucking cunts. I don't. You know what I mean by bubble. I'm just using different language so it, like, makes people think for a second, but it doesn't even matter. This, this is crazy. Like, this is just silly, right? Like, there are no gods. There are no magic that we know of. There is no fucking simulation that we know of. All of this is just fucking, like, conspiracy theories and paranoia. Every time I deal with someone with extreme mania or, like, psychosis, they're always like, Brittany, parallel universes. I'm like, sit down. There's no reason for you to believe in these any more than anything else. Like, there's just, like, nothing to, like, there's no reason. Um, they said Trisha's doing pretty well. Uh, some comments are saying that Trisha's uh, definitely different. Yeah, Trisha and, and Gabby are definitely different. Um, and then I'm definitely not even in those categories. Like, I already know I was sick. I went to therapy. I got diagnosed. I got on the thing, and now I'm better. Like, it's not, I had cancer, and I got better. But this girl, I don't even know if she knows she's sick. Like, this girl might not even know she's sick. Versus, like, I knew I was sick because I went to the doctor. And they were like, hey, you're sick. I was like, cool. And then I got better because I did what they told me to do. So with Gabby, though, and with other, like, Bobby Lee and all these other people, they struggled to get better because they always wonder, like, who will they be? And that's the question. Right now, in Gabby's reality, she's the fucking shit, bro. She's a beast. She's, like, really amazing, right? So why would she change her narrative? That's the question. Mm. Dirty Scumbag says, bubble, your sphere of existence. Good word for it. Yeah, like your sphere of existence, what you believe in, what you're born into. It's just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't care what, I, I agree that, okay, here's the part. This is what I'm saying. So Gabby says, we're all saying the same thing. Yes, but no. Humans are saying the same thing, but no right? Like when the Catholics say, when my mom says, oh, Betsy, your apartment feels like there's a demon here. She's like, it's probably from all the porn and the weed. When my feng shui witchy friends come over and they're like, oh, I'm getting like a weird energy in here. They are all saying the same thing. I'm uncomfortable in your home. But they're not actually saying some greater magical thing like witches exist or there's a God. But Gabby's brain is going, they're all saying the same thing. There's a power. There's... We're, bitch. We're, bitch. Probably not. It's probably just our brains amplifying our imagination or whatever and then clinging to an idea and going down a rabbit hole. There's probably not a higher power. And if there is, great. It probably still is not even the way we imagine it. It's probably just not as cool as we think it is. It's probably just regular and boring. Being raised Catholic, we're afraid of ghosts. We are Ugh. fucking afraid of ghosts and demons. It's scary. So what they taught us was shut it all out, shut it all out, shut it all out. Somebody once told me that Satan is like a dog on a leash and just don't get too close and you'll be okay. So they tell us don't connect to spirit, don't try to practice any type of actual divine connection because there is no divine spirit, connection. Put out there the world, is no spirit. Because you might get possessed. Because there's no possession. Possessed by who? The holy fucking spirit. Your mental you illness. You think that God. Your mental illness. Do you know what? Do you know what spirituality gets you? Thinking you're teal swan and thinking you're a star child. You know what spirituality can get you? Gabby Hanna. You know what can also get you? A better understanding with yourself and humanity, bros. Depends on which version of spirituality and mind, mind, like mindfulness you go down. All of it is up to you. I'm telling you right now, if you think in any way I'm advocating for any kind of magical powers in the universe, you're fucking insane. No. Whatever this is, there is no spirit to connect to. There is no fucking magic. There is no fucking 
unless there is and you can hand it to me otherwise i will not die on this hill and she does not need to die on this hill but she will for now because the perfect balance of her mania with the imagination of the idea of magic and spirit and things that's what moves her forward it's just it's not it's not good not good this is not good not good God would give us all of this shit all of it and only satan could use it you think that only evil spirits can possess a human being or could you call on the holy spirit well i don't know i don't know god is that okay i know you'll keep me safe so please don't let me do anything that you wouldn't want me to do i trust you and you trust me we are one i am your daughter and i trust you so let me see what you want me to see and nothing else let me see what you want me to see what you want us to see and nothing else you'll protect me right you've always told me you'll protect me you want me to eat from the tree of knowledge so i'm going Ooh, miss Alyssa says i think that gabby's realization that she's sick will be her rock bottom that was my hope anyway but she's not backing down that would have been great if that was the case um it's just not happening it's just not happening Ugh, weird going to eat thank you dad thank you mom sona says so yeah she can be manic on tiktok but i draw the line when you start spreading harmful information i think i think everything is harmful i think almost everything people say is harmful to someone so i don't actually believe in objective harmful uh misinformation or information which is the problem i don't think it exists i don't think you could point to it and say that sentence is always bad I'm pretty sure that's not even true. I could say something right now in the context of this conversation and it wouldn't be bad because I'm giving you a warning. And therefore, there is no objective way to correlate things that are said into always harmful. I mean, it's just not going to work that way. So I think having that belief is also harmful. Like to say like, oh, I, I think people should do whatever they want as, like, as long as they don't hurt anyone else. That's not a real thing. That doesn't exist. Whatever that sentence means is just meant to make us feel better. It's not real. It doesn't exist. There is not, that's not how the, the, it's not how it works. So I think that that's kind of the problem is like the savior complex, which again, I tackled in therapy because Gabby's right. We grew up being told our whole life we're going to do something great and we're amazing. We can be whatever we want. We could be Mother Teresa or the president. I've been told all these things as well. I get told right now by my mom, Betty, you could be Joan of Arc. You could save this whole family from hell. And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> no thanks I'm not into it but like there is a savior complex being put on a lot of people and maybe it's like we're both like the same kind of Middle Eastern so maybe it's our like well not really I'm Assyrian and she's like you know Lebanese but like the same the, but I mean like we deal with the same ideas of complexity when it comes to like what is the ego and what is self and what am I supposed to do like I just I told you I just went home with all my adult siblings and my parents just reminded us all about how we're not really adults because we don't have family kids or houses and then how like the only child they're proud of is the one farm brother because he did those things and we're like oh come on you don't we don't, I can't even listen to this shit anymore because I don't even think they believe it I just think they're trying to encourage us to be better, but they don't know how to do it. So they just tell us we're not good enough. So we'll be good enough one day. And I'm like, oh, we're just making different choices. Like we're all just making different choices that make us hopefully joyful. I wish Gabby would make a decision that made her joyful. This is why I don't trust people who brag that they give to charities. This is why I almost hate charity is because I don't even trust charity organizations because it's like, again, it's like, okay, you're giving your money to an organization that's going to give pennies to the people who need it. If Gabby wanted to help children, she should be spending her time off TikTok and inside organizations and actually being with the children, maybe. Maybe, but probably not since she is this way. She probably should just stay on TikTok. Thank you for this gift. Thank you for allowing me to share our vision with the world. I want to help our. everybody be possessed by the Holy Spirit. Ooh, the power of Christ girl. compels you to do what? No, no, no. I'm good. The girl. power of Christ I'm good compelled girl. me to dedicate my life to helping we me we man woman wow she okay when i say we are all one another and i say gabby's me and i'm gabby i don't mean literally and i and i don't but i but kind like just like all my siblings are me because i am the same probability of being them that they are of being me we are not each other but we are each other like i want no ill will towards gabby 
I'm only trying to say we are not the same in terms of how we see reality. But otherwise, she's a human and I'm a human and I wish her the best. She's obviously sick. I'm a sick person. I get it. But like this is this is a difference of like how do we cope with reality? Like I hear that like we, me, or me, we, woman, man, whatever this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds super profound, but it's not. Because nothing is. The most profound thing you can understand is that we just don't even know what we're doing here. So we're all winging it and it's all just a mess. And this is the product of it being a mess. But also I was a product of it being a mess and I was fine. Because I chose to accept that I don't actually know. And that I have no proof for anything other than I'm pretty sure I exist. That hurt. Ow. Okay. And that's good enough for me. But for her, she needs like a whole reason she exists. <gasps> What's the real reason I exist? Probably because your parents fucked, bro. God is so genius. God is so genius. God is so genius. Let's think about this. So. It is a God. Like. We are told that we're not supposed to practice witchcraft but think about the salem witch trials and now in hindsight we know that the people they were burning yeah if you guys are feeling this way i would get off the drugs i would cleanse my body i would drink lots of water and i would just like breathe and sleep give yourself like 10 days of relaxation because like i think that a part of it could be drug use i know she likes her marijuana Maybe it's that. Maybe it's not. Maybe she's off the marijuana now that she's religious. Tell me an update. But this is why, by the way, do you guys know why I always tell people I'm high when I'm high? Because I want them to know that I could say something that's not going to make sense because I'm baked. Everyone, you know, I was on Steven's live show one time and I was like, hey, I'm high. And everyone's like, why does Brittany, no one cares that you're high, Brittany. I was like, I'm telling you that in case I say something crazy. Then you can be like, oh, she's high. It's a high thought. Because when you're a smoker, when you're high, you know you have high thoughts. They don't make sense. They're not very good, but they sound really good. Trust my Discord who's heard me rant a bunch of times when I'm high. It, it's very hard to decipher high thoughts. So that's why I always tell people when I'm high, which by the way, I'm going to be high after this. <laughs> because it's just, it's not going to make sense. Weren't actually witches. It's almost as if man took a woman's power and the tools much. we needed the books and the information and the knowledge and the vessels. I want to finish this, but I really need to eat. I almost want to run down real fast and grab my food. Mm, do I have time? I have time. No, no, I'll wait. I'll we needed through. to heal. I didn't think out loud. And fucking burnt them. Because the white man less. was afraid I'm just talk over her. of a colored woman's power, a white woman's power. Oh, right, the shade of our skin is just melanin. And where we are born in relation to the sun. Yeah. Her son. But again, why are you making this a feminist manifesto? That's just how it is for all of us. All of us are fucking stuck in whatever bodies we're born into, whatever politics and bubbles we're born into, and then you figure it out, Gabby. But what is this? What is this, like, women and men? Crazy. Her son that she gave to us, the earth. Oh, wow. The sun is her son. And she trusted us to him and he trusted her to us one big happy family so actually no you don't have to win to give back i give back all the time all the time <clears throat> that was bonus round but how fun would it have been if i give an additional hundred thousand dollars because you guys fucking rallied and uplifted a woman and her talent and her art and her music if you would listen to the words i was saying and be inspired by my fucking message to save the world I was going to let go. Do you understand why even when Steven talks about like giving back to humanity or like you, what you owe to humanity, I'm just like, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I can't. It's like savior thing. I just fucking get, I can't. I can't go back to that Britney. She was, I can't even remember what it felt like to be that Britney. But man, I can't say that I was better than Gabby. I mean, maybe I didn't get famous. Thank God. My mania was just on small YouTube. God, let me bless you guys with an additional $100,000 on top of the work that I already do and don't brag about. And I was going to let you guys vote on how to divvy <laughs> it up. Brag. Do you want one person to get $100,000? Do you want $10,000 for 10 people? Should I give $1,000 to 100 people? Should I give $100 to 1,000 people? How fun would that vote have been to see how you guys decided? How do you want to spend the $100,000?
how do you guys want to spend the hundred thousand dollars that you helped me win that would have been interesting to see to be honest i would have been interested to see because even god gets bored sometimes <laughs> shannon shannon old river did you know the meaning of your name my house is paid for my house is paid for my house is paid for it's almost like <gasps> But God herself, himself, herself. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost as like I'm in heaven. And you're all still stuck in hell. This is what happens, bros, when you think the matrix is real. And you think you've taken the pill where you're not in the matrix. Listen to what I'm saying. There is a moment in your life where you start thinking like, it's the top. It's everybody. They're all out to get me. We're all just people doing people. We're all picking our noses and scratching our buttholes and farting like the rest of us. And then none of us are truly ever in control of one another. We're all just panically existing and trying not to freak out or not to fuck up. But we do anyways, right? So like, that's what I'm saying. I feel like fiveness is just accepting that like, this is human, this is life. This is me, that's okay. That's not exactly what I would be doing, but I can't even say that I haven't been partially here. So I feel her in this, but like also this is crazy, right? And <clears throat> I don't mind so much that it's happening. I can't even be mad at Gabby. I can just be sad for her. But at the same time, I'm more mad at the people who are, who are, again, I get upset at like the Mr. Girls and the people in the audiences who become so fucking virtue signally and self-righteous. And they're just like, and even Daniel, Mr. Epsilon being like, we need to help her. No, we need to fucking leave Gabby alone. Let Gabby be crazy. Like the literal thousands of people on the streets, all the homeless people, all the fucking crazy people who decide to like leave their cushy lives and be like adventurers, all the people who are just doing their own fucking shit. There are a lot of people who need your help. Gabby might be one of them, but there are more efficient investments. I wouldn't help Gabby. If Gabby called me and wanted to do calls with me, I would reject her the same way I denied Anna when Anna reached out to me. I, there's just a level of crazy I refuse to engage with. And I refuse. You all and if I don't save you still, <laughs> then I will be as well. Oh my God. Here's a theory. I'm you don't have to believe me. But what if all women bodies have male spirit and all male spirit has feminine souls? What if that was our punishment for breaking the earliest rules? What if all we had to do was be nice and be kind to our brothers and sisters and instead we started fucking murdering and murdering each other, starting with Cain and Abel, starting with Cain and Abel, he killed his fucking brother. He was so capable. This may be common sense for some, but for others it may not. One of the things I've noticed going through her TikTok is a large portion of the comments that are made on her TikTok, she is responding to anyone that is critical of her, anyone that's even questions that she's not mentally all there or that they're worried or concerned. Wait, so they're saying Gabby was definitely diagnosed with bipolar. Selena says, but she thinks she's handling it. Unfortunately, mental health issues usually creep up on you without you realizing it, for sure. I will say when I was diagnosed with borderline, one of the key things that I had to put together was like checklists. And my buddy who's bipolar, she and I, like I told you guys, like I'll call her up when I'm like, yo, we gotta do a checklist to make sure I'm not like being borderline right now. So I'm always checking in with people like, am I being borderline? But then I only trust my inner circle to tell me whether I am or not because they know me. So like, you know how the internet, they'll criticize the way I talk sometimes. They're like, Brittany's putting it on. My sister thinks, so my sister will call me and she'll be like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, Do you, does it hurt your feelings that the internet thinks you're like being performative, but this is just how you talk? And I was like, oh yeah, but like they don't understand. Like they, because I think normal people don't act like me, but I act like myself. And because I'm neurotypical or neurodivergent, they think I'm neurotypical acting like I'm neurodivergent, but I'm actually just neurodivergent. So <laughs> they think I'm faking what I'm talking like, but this is what I talk like. So when I'm with my family, I am like myself more. Like I'm very like, I'm actually, I'm just like so all over the map, right? My body language, I'm like yelling. I'm like, but it's like, this is just how I talk, whatever. So I think that I have a, such a secure group that knows me and knows when I'm being myself and knows when I'm being borderline. Like they literally, like my brothers literally know it. They can see it. Mark can see it. He's like, oh, like the, he knows the difference between like Britney being Britney and Britney being like, <sighs> you know, he's just like, oh, I, but it's so slight that I don't think people who don't know me would ever be able to tell the difference. But that's, that's the thing. When people know you, you're like, ooh. Okay, and then there was another comment. <clears throat> Mine says, is 
Your line of reasoning alienating to alternative styles of existence. Um, I don't really like the way the question is phrased for my brain, but is your line of reasoning alienating to alternative styles of existence? I don't know what that means. Are you saying that is the way that I think alienating to them? Or do you think that I think that you're, I think all people can live any way they want, but I don't think it's objective. And I think most of life is subjectively experienced. And I think there are hardly things that work for all people, like barely any things that work for most people. Yeah. So I don't really understand the question. You might want to rephrase it because I don't quite understand the exact question. Jackson says bubble equal cultural groups. Exactly. Mindsets, belief systems, um, everything could be a bubble. Like this is a bubble, right? Um, you know what I mean? <clears throat> she really goes off the deep end in terms of accusing them and making correlations with somehow the Bible. Um, I don't really understand it to me. When I see somebody start referencing the Bible and pulling things and biblical stories out in real life comparisons, I do get very concerned for the obvious reason. The Bible isn't based on science. And while sure, there may be plenty of metaphors to use in the Bible, combining with that she's part of the Holy Spirit, Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, what can you and I really do outside of express, hey, we're concerned, and then she lashes out at that concern? Because as of today, which is August 24th, there was a wellness check called on Gabby Hanna. And as you would suspect... Hey, dear neighbors, genuinely thank you for the concern. Last night when I screamed out into the wilderness, not knowing if you guys could hurt me, but did it anyway because I had my faith, I killed my fucking ego. And Something I learned today, the officers came for a wellness check and I asked them if any of them wanted a hug and they all said they wouldn't like one. Maybe it would have saved my fucking life. I'm okay, don't worry about me though. Could have saved my life. She acts like she's perfect. She acts like she knows everything. Why does she always think she's so much smarter than everybody else? Oh my God, she thinks her poetry is so deep. Oh, maybe you were just too fucking dumb to understand it. No, actually, I fucking didn't. I slept in this and then I put on some jeans because I had to go to the store and I had to put a shirt on too. Sometimes I was still wearing my rope. Sometimes I had this shirt on and sometimes I take it off. You know what I base it on? The temperature. And I get to hang out in my beautiful house all day where I have the best time of my life making music and art and hanging out with whoever I invite into my home and only going out into the world when I absolutely have to or when I feel like it. I made heaven a place on earth. Guess what? It literally is if you have faith that the voices in your fucking head are mom and dad, father and mother, God, they're all three. Jesus is literally all of us. Hey, wanna hear something sick? We're all Jesus. I do have powers, so do you, you just don't have faith. So when somebody has faith, they question yours. Okay, I found it. I found it, y'all, I found it. You know how I keep asking myself, like what is my kid gonna bring to me that's gonna make me like, look at them like a parent, like oh my God. Like OnlyFans, no. I totally expect my kid to be as wild as their mother, maybe less, maybe they'll be really conservative, like a Ben Shapiro, ugh, that would probably happen to me. Or maybe, maybe they'd be like this, but not manic. Like, what if they're just like, mom, I believe I'm a unicorn. I'd be like, fuck. All right, cool, bro. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna cope. I don't know how I'm gonna cope. What? Oh, was that backwards? I'm not sure. We're literally all looking in mirrors all the time. Also, yeah, wait, hold up. Discord says, why would you ask an officer uh, that when they're working? You know what's so funny? Um, the whole like, hey, do you want to hug as an officer? I don't know about you, but I've, I could be wrong, but I thought officers are definitely not allowed to give hugs. Um, but even if they could, um, they're allowed to say no, Gabby, consent much. But listen to Gabby, she's like, what if I needed that hug? So she knows, she knows she could be in a place where she needs that hug. But is she actually saying she needs the hug subconsciously? But I mean like, I'm tough, I'm fine, I don't even need this hug. Or she's saying, I could have needed the hug, which means she's cognizant enough to know that she's being manipulative by asking for the hug and getting died. Or does she not believe in consent? So when she asked the cops, like, can I have a hug? And they said no, and she was mad about it. Is she a rapist? So if you don't like certain things about your life, look at your relationships and realize that God literally gave you the exact mirror or opposite of yourself. You get to choose in the person that you see what is good that you like about them 
and anything you don't you don't pick up you can pick up the things you like oh is that a symptom of narcissism and mirroring maybe it's a symptom of trying to grow and relate and learn from each other which is why we need good parents which is why we need healthy homes and love. And if we all patiently wait to have sex till we're about 30 or 31 years old. Oh, girl, and I'm out, girl. Can make the mess. That is out, right? I'm out, girl. That is out. That is the worst thing she has said this whole fucking time. That is the most outrageous thing. Is she a virgin? No, she lived with her boyfriends. Girl. Girl. The nest to be a soft place to land we will sacrifice our husbands but we don't sacrifice our sons and mother earth literally sacrificed her son is jesus christ the son us our brother we all had a chance and you still do jesus literally always saves why not try what is there to lose you are not going to hell it's on earth we're here Heaven, earth, and purgatory, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Heaven and earth. Amen. Oh, you want to throw away somewhere so you can go to a new one? How about you make the very best of everything you're given, you unselfish little fucking brats? If you have a favorite creator, musician, anybody who has a large social media following, and if you see them on their social media, because a lot of social media has activity feeds, so you can see people's replies, you can see responses, likes, etc., etc. If your favorite creator <sighs> is constantly, and I mean constantly, 24-7, replying to every singular negative thing even if it's not necessarily negative but they reply and the response is always negative wait wasn't it gabby a they them at one point or am i crazy that is a red flag i get it though like i reply to negative stuff sometimes but i'm talking about like this is, needs to be a behavior where it's like just unhinged there are four types everything of bipolar y'all are in my comments saying there are four types of bipolar is that true somebody says they're replying and being negative in response they are not mentally well not just that but the level of defensiveness that is exhibiting right here simply by an observation she's gone through three outfit changes and so only 3 p.m and she just goes on this rant over a comment that wasn't even directed specifically with the at symbol towards Gabby. It was a reply to another comment. And by sheer randomness, she's like, you know, deathly scrolling like, hmm, what's people saying? What's people saying? It is so unhealthy. Social media, in my opinion, is a disease. It causes physical brain rot. As someone who uses it frequently myself, I just was on vacation for almost 11 days. And while I was using Twitter, I just completely shut my mind out of caring about anything. I have to do that for myself. Because if I let a singular or, a, you know, 10 negative comments out of a thousand comments affect me, I'm going to live a very miserable life. You can't really give a lot of shits when you're a public figure especially one when you're known as being very controversial in nature and then get to oh am i thinking of demi lovato wait i'm getting a yep <clears throat> i wait was that a yep no it's true was that true wait people in the youtube comments are saying yes she was a they them but that could be wrong maybe they're answering different questions but then discord says maybe not i don't know i don't know offensive over innocent comments like you're changing your outfit three times a day oh day you guys are talking about the types of borderline weight if I want to change my shirt three times a day, who the fuck gives a shit, right? Ooh, Mimi says, what would you do if Gabby was your friend? I don't know. Because I would have to answer that question, I would have to be her friend. So I can know Gabby enough to know what to do. Her response says everything that she is not sane no matter how much she tries to say that she is this is mania and i want you me and everyone watching this video to acknowledge and see this for what it is that this person Ooh. is not well especially with what happens in these next few tiktoks oh god I have super it gets high worse anxiety just watching them it gets worse what do I mean to you you hope i'm okay actually okay i'm in bed safe in my beautiful castle with the, the best of friends and my cleaner doing my dirty work for me listening to music maybe later i'll play some music maybe i'll paint maybe i'll draw maybe i'll sit around all day and theorize and think and philosophize cry stretch do some yoga drink some water volunteer go to church are you okay are you okay because i'm financially sound i'm physically healthy oh she's doing the whole person. i'm still confident enough to share my art despite Ooh. the entire world for years decades centuries trying to kill me you want the second coming right and they t the the cross he y vagina mom dad <laughs> and the baby the father son and the holy spirit they the voices in your head they always say you know they always say all those sayings who the fuck is they who is they are you okay because i'm channeling genius and I've allowed the spirit of the Holy Ghost 
possess my body. And guess what? You literally can too. And I'll teach you because if you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. And if you teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. Are you okay? Because I have faith that I am in heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Oh, right. Uh, the creator of heaven and earth. Oh, are you okay? Because the second coming is here. So you better fucking talk to God or don't. I don't care, but I, like a good child of God, am going to sing my parents' praises. And I, it's, <laughs> and it's my responsibility <laughs> to save the lives of all children, no matter what age. Wait, are those her parents? I'm so sorry to earphone users. Wait, are those her parents? No. Oh, Dolly, Dolly, Doll, I can't read this. Mama? Wait, why did she say dad stepping in, mom stepping in? And then it was like, wait. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to learn how to use this. I want to see the dad. Wait, what? Wait, so this is all from the same person. Why did she say dad here and then mom's here? Wait, that makes no sense. Each. Why am I trying to make sense out of Gabby Hanna right now? Want to laugh your ass off? This is a stranger. <laughs> Do what you just did. Share my water with you. Literally. Bots. I honestly would like to help. I don't know what to do though. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'm here. Everybody says somebody needs to help her, but- By the way, Nick? Yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why what did you lie this? to me? That's for my acne, you dumb cunt. Get the fuck out of my house, now. Now, now! This is where things get crazy. This guy named Nick who lives out of his- Oh, Discord says, I think the dad mom thing are like the mama Simon and Auntie Brittany thing. You know how I do like mama Simon's much more warm. Auntie Brittany's a little bit of a bitch. Um, though at this point they overlap so hard. Okay, weird. Um, so it's like her identity. She has like a mom brain and a dad brain. I have to pee so bad. This still has like 15 minutes though. That's not bad. We can do this. We can do this. Car was live streaming. I don't have the full live stream, but I have. Ugh, I gotta pee so bad. I have screenshots of it. Nick found this is... Gabby Hanna's home address. So this is the weirdest part of the story that I don't believe. So I don't really believe this part because I don't understand how this guy got into her house. Because okay, again, did Gabby share her address? Did Gabby give him a location? did because like i've been to plenty of youtubers homes and unless you know it literally where they live like why would you be able to know where they lived you know what i mean um mind shifter says who is the artist of the painting behind you um this is by sarah wands and um it's really too big to show you but isn't it cool it's like a wolf it's amazing i follow her on patreon um, I shared the link to her video early, earlier. I might, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, I think this is still it. I shared a video, well, let me click on it and make sure, oops, oops, something went wrong. Oops, I totally just left my creator page on YouTube. Sorry, I'm back. My bad. I lost the chat for a second. Is this the video? Yeah, this is, no, this is Gabby's video. Fuck, sorry, I linked the wrong video. Fuck, hold on. This is not the right video. Hold on, oh my God, it's so stupid. I'll link it. I'll link it. I'll link it. Hold on. Live streamed him driving all the way to her house, gets out of his car, is showcasing her physical home I and her car, her this. license plate, all that jazz, um, which, by it. the way, is very invasive. Um, he goes up to her house, knocks on the door, um, acts to be a stranger, says that he needs to use the restroom, and he starts making TikTok videos in Gabby Hanna's house. Yeah, I don't believe that. She gives him a cup of coffee. Um, he posts some more TikTok videos saying he wants to help her. And as you just saw there, uh, he went and grabbed part of her medication and asked her what this is. She screams, you don't, you- Yeah, I just don't believe this. Like, can anyone tell me? Like, can anyone tell me? And Jessica says, go pee. You're very ADHD by holding it in because you're focused on something else. It's so true. And grab snacks. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Do we have the spoons to finish this slowly? Fine. You know we're going to talk for another 40 minutes. Hold on. Give me, give me five, uh, ten minutes, five minutes, probably five minutes. I just need five minutes. I'm just going to run down and grab 
uh, food real fast. I'm going to pee real fast. So hold on. I'll be right back. You're right. I don't even fucking know why I'm rushing this stream. I don't have anything for a second anyways. Hold on. I'll be right back. Wait, Daniel. Get off the fucking screen, Daniel. Oh, oh, get off the screen. Oh, oh, God, it's not even centered. What is happening to my life?
All right, how long did that take me? Did I just scare you guys? I should have been like, I am back. Hi, hello. Hi, I'm back. Hi, hello. How was it? Oh my God. Walking up the stairs was so hard. Indiana, move. Move. Move, I'm not just, I need to sit down. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, bitch. Fine. Okay, you can sit there, but I need to sit too. You can stay here, but I gotta sit too. Okay. This is, okay, I know, I see you trying to, okay, you're trying to, I, I get it. Okay, just like, okay. Okay, how did I do? What time is it? Did I leave very much long ago? I don't know, we're starting it, fuck it. Let's get this over with. Oh, I gotta put my earphones back in. Fuck, I'm so over this. Oh, but I'm not. I actually need to know how he ends this video. If it's a virtue signaling, we must save her. Daniel? Okay. Oh my God, girl. Knocking shit over, girl. You do know who I am. Get the fuck out of my house. Rightfully so, as anybody would. He leaves, then goes on a live stream and tries to defend himself, saying he's been there before, she's going to psychosis, and he's the only person who actually did. I like how you all are saying Gabby's crazy, but then it's like Gabby's right about this man. But what if they had met before? What if, what if Gabby, no, not Gabby. Yeah, what if Gabby and this guy actually were friends before and she told him to do this? did anything to try to help her. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's quite cut and dry textbook psychosis shit. So, um, yeah, oh. um, I tried my best to help. I tried my best to help. I mean, what, what, what more can I do? I went in there, I been there myself. So I thought I maybe could do something. All these people were saying do something, do something, do something, but nobody did anything except for me. I was the only, I was the only oh that did something. Wait, I was, was only I one not that did even something. gone five minutes? Am I that high? Well, no, I haven't even gone high yet. Is my time crazy? I went all, I peed? I went all the way downstairs. I talked to Mark about mushrooms. Then I warmed up my soup for two minutes. Then I came upstairs. That was longer than five minutes, right guys? So, um. um but number one, first of all, uh, Nick, fuck you. Number two, fuck you again. Number three, fuck, fuck, fuck you. Why am I missing why everyone hates Nick? I mean, he's crazy, but also, uh, you're a piece of goddamn shit. I don't know you. I don't like you. You exploited and took advantage of somebody in a vulnerable oh, state for your he... fucking worthless. St oh wow. Okay, I really missed something. I'm sorry. I just, I really missed something. She screams. You don't. You do know who I am. Get the fuck out of my house. Okay, so Gabby let a stranger into her house, thinking he just needed to use the bathroom. But he did know who she was, and he used it to stay in her house. And then she freaked out, and she was like, "Get out of my house." Got it. Okay. Rule number one as a female. Don't let people in your fucking house when you're home alone. Even old ladies. Okay? It's fucking crazy. You're tiny and small. And your estrogen is a curse to you. And testosterone can take you down in 2.5 seconds. Do not let people in your fucking house. You know, they even say... You should, um... Did you guys, what's that thing called? I'm, I'm getting high. You know that thing on Facebook? Let it go or let it go. Whatever that thing is called. Let go, whatever it's called. There was a woman whose husband was out for the day and she even told the guy, hey, come at this time. My husband will be off work. It'll be great. He can help. But then the guy came because he knew the husband wasn't at work. So then it was a heavy dresser. And so she was like, well, he's here. She says like he needs to, he, like he wants to get the dresser now. And she goes, well, I was going to wait for my husband to come home, but then she felt bad because, you know, people out here shame and makes you do stupid things. She let this man at her house and she said, oh, and I've had a man look at, I've had men look at me like this, just one or two I can think of who've looked at me like this before. It is the scariest feeling in the world. She said that when they were going up the staircase, he purposely gave her the heavier part of it and she didn't think to fight him on it. And then when they were going up the staircase, she saw him looking at her and that way that you know shit when shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? And apparently how she got out of it was by the time they got up to the staircase and she swore it was like he was trying to make her tired. By the time they got up on the top of the staircase, 
she was like, oh, I got a message. And she like looked at it and she goes, oh good, my husband says he's about a few minutes away. And the guy was like, oh, oh, um, I got this, I got this. And picked up the dresser and quickly put it into his car and left. But like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, there are moments in our lives, and I understand it. I've invited people into my foyer. I've invited people into my home if I feel safe. I'm surprised a little bit that Gabby was so willing to, like, let people into her home. But, sorry, this this Jessica just said it perfectly. Polite, politeness can can kill us. Like, politeness kills people, even men. So, like, don't even do it if you're a guy. But, like, don't let people in your house. Yeah. Like, or go with your, you know, your gut, I guess. But Gabby's is kind of a mess right now. So she let this weirdo in her home. Um, I'm not trying to justify him, but I'm not in my emotions when I'm watching this, guys. I'm very analytical. So I'm in no way, shape, or form, like, relating to Gabby in this moment. I'm not thinking, like, oh, I've had a stalker, so Gabby's had a stalker. I care. I'm just watching human beings be very ridiculous together. I am in no way seeing this emotionally. I have no empathy in this situation. My sympathy is very low. I have no way to relate to this situation. I've never been in this situation. I might experience mania, but my mania doesn't look like this. I look like this, but I don't look like this. Do you feel? So like whatever's happening in this video, I know I see you in the comments like Brittany, Brittany. And I'm like, I've checked out all feelings of care out. They're out the window, bitch. Rightfully so, as anybody Sorry. would. He leaves, then goes on a live stream and tries to defend himself, saying he's been there before, she's going to psychosis, and he's the only person who actually did anything to try to help her. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's quite cut and dry textbook psychosis shit. So, um, yeah, um, I tried my best to help. I tried my best to help. I mean, what, what, what more can I do? I went in there, I've been there myself, so I thought Why I maybe could do that? something. All these people. What does he say that? I've been there myself. What does that mean? Does that mean he stalked her? Somebody explain to me what that fucking means. People were saying do something, do something, do something, but nobody did anything except for me. I was, I was the one that did something. I was the only one that did something. So, um, um, but number one, first of all, uh, Nick, fuck you. Number two, fuck you again. Number three, fuck, fuck, fuck you. Oh uh, you're a piece of goddamn shit. Oh I don't goodness. know you. I don't like Ooh. you. You Ooh. exploited and took advantage of somebody in a vulnerable state for your fucking worthless, stupid fucking TikTok. Okay, we love the anger, Epsion, but I just can't join you in it real fast. So, okay, I'm eating kubeba. It's hummus kubi. It's my favorite Middle Eastern dish other than dolma. You all know what I mean. Um, but because I have lupus, I had to make a lupus approved kubeba. So this is just like a recipe moment. So kubeba is meat inside of meat. You feel you take ground beef and you fry it up with onions, but I can't eat onions because lupus. So I'm off onions right now. So I had to use baby bok choy as a replacement. Super good choice. So you fry up the meat, then you take more raw beef that's been held together by cream of wheat, but I can't use cream of wheat because lupus, I'm gluten free. So I had to use cornmeal, which also isn't very good, but it's what I can use. So I use that to keep the meat together. Then you take the meat and you squish it into a flat ball and then you put the stuffing inside of the ball and then you close it up. So you put the meat inside of the meat and then you put this meat, um, or, or you can make it into it. So this is a big ball. This is what we call, we call the big kubeba balls. This is a big one. This has stuffing in it, okay? And then we have little kubeba balls and this one is no stuffing. It's just like a meatball basically, okay? And then in the actual soup, I have um, baby bok choy and tomato slices. Um, and you fry the tomato paste real good. And you're supposed to use a bunch of garlic, but I can't have garlic because lupus. So I use salt and baharat, which is like allspice, but don't use the allspice. I use the American stores because that's too much cinnamon. Get the allspice from the Arabic stores, but even at the Arabic stores, sometimes they go too heavy on the cinnamon and it's not good. So don't, don't just like be picky. Every Arabic store does a different. And if you're like my aunt, I'm lucky. God bless her soul. I have her original bahara from Iraq. So I have like her original recipe of the seven spice and it's just sitting in my kitchen and I'm lucky enough that I get to use it. It's so good, but it's almost done. Anyways, that is what we're having because I know y'all always ask me what I'm eating. That's what I'm eating. And then you make it into like a soup and then you could even have it with salt or you can have it fried. I know my Middle Eastern people are like, what about the fried one, girl? You could do a fried. Flat kubi, like flat, like you could do a flat in a skillet. And then it's super good too. That nobody gives a fucking shit about until you fucking started exploiting the fact and posting TikToks in her home.
I don't care how deranged somebody is to show somebody's home address in a video on a live stream to be posting the address in a video live streaming it. You're a fucking deplorable goddamn person. And quite frankly, she should report you to the police. You clearly saw somebody who was not mentally well. So you thought, hmm, I'm going to take advantage and lie to them, get inside their house, make TikTok videos for whatever goddamn reason in your, your stupid fucking brain. You think that this is normal. Whatever the internet does to you, because I saw you were getting a lot of heat and a lot of negativity on your relatively new TikTok, you deserve it. I don't care who the fuck you think you are going around grabbing somebody's medication who you literally yeah. manipulated them into going into their house. Because we're very angry. Wait, Indy says my grandma makes it with quinoa. I'm vegetarian, so I can't vouch for it, but my aunt said it's dank. What? Really? I never thought about that before, but I bet you could do it, actually. Indiana, do not drink my soup. Oh my god. Whew. That is so interesting. House resulted in you getting kicked out, but the fact of the matter, you think it's a normal thing. <gasps> my knee looks like I'm pregnant. How cute. Stop. That's, I have total baby fever right now. Do not put that thought in my head. I will get everyone here pregnant. To, I, I just can't even fathom. Like if somebody showed up here and tried to get into this house and a fan showed up at this door, I am not going to be welcoming. Just FYI, I need to make that really clear. I am not going to be nice. And if you try to come on my property physically <laughs> and I don't know who the fuck you are, the police will be called combined with the video footage of you being released. Cause we have, I have cameras everywhere now. Fuck you, Nick. There's a reason that you're living out of your car. It makes sense. And I realize that some people are gonna say, well, you're trying to defend Gabby Hat. No, I mean, yes. Yes and no. Clearly somebody's not mentally sane. Somebody on the internet sees that and they go take advantage of that to promote their fucking shitty brand new TikTok, garner views and act, oh, I'm so concerned for her. Nobody else is doing anything. Seeing that gave me just pure anger and anxiety. Naturally, of course, there are people saying this is a troll. This is fake. This is a setup. She's planning this. Look, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't know. And if it turns out that I'm wrong, yeah, is. I'm wrong. My reaction to this is not genuine in the terms of this is fake. I'll admit that, but I don't think it is. And no matter who it was, if it's Gabby Hanna, Onision, it just, I don't give a fuck. Do not show up at people's homes. It's that clear and simple. A parasocial relationship of wanting to help a YouTuber. We do not want you in our home. We do not want you posting. That our is true. Don't fucking ever come to my house. Do not show up to my fucking town. Do not fucking come near my family. I feel you, Daniel. Our I'm address. on it we now. Do now I'm in it, Daniel. Now I'm in it. We made this about YouTubers in general. You're right. I'm pissed now. Don't ever come to my fucking house, you hoes. I do not want you calling us on our, your, our cell phones. Rant done. To all my bad bitches yeah. and my good witches. Yeah. I really need support right now because I did the right research. I performed the right rituals with a clear heart and mind and body. And I saved our babies. Like, do you guys understand? What Can anyone be? understand the simulation theory? You guys literally just watched a video game. You don't believe the Jesus theory? Okay, fine. What do you want then? <laughs> My sisters, help me. <laughs> Somebody. <sighs> could I help someone like Gabby Hanna? I'm pretty high, so I think I could help everyone right now. I just don't think so. I think, like, I think Gabby's need to be ready to to change even if she talked to me and she'd be like hey Gabby what's up and she'd be like what's up and I'd be like so like what makes you a person like what do you believe oh my god bro I believe like women men men women Jesus Christ vagina and I'd be like okay cool so let's talk about going to see a therapist and then like she'd be like I saw a therapist Spill it while I was carrying my shit. <laughs> Thanks. That was a big car. You're amazing. You're you're my savior. Thanks, bro. It's easy. Mark's so nice. I was like, bring me water. <laughs> um. Yeah. See, I just don't think so, bros. Like, I just don't think she'd hear me. She's living in like a different planet right now, which we love. But even like, hi, I'm not confident. Cure my BPD real quick. Okay, hold on. No one can abandon the abandoned list. <laughs> BPD cured. <laughs> oh, it's just like it kills me because like I do feel her. She's really going through it. I can't fuck. Like I can't. She's really going through it, my girl. Girl. This is, I hope in five years she can come back and be like, Gabby Hanna, my journey through my 20s. Just like I did for my levels because like. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading your comments. <clears throat> Wait, what drugs have has Gany, Gabby Hanna taken throughout her life? I mean, is she still doing drugs or is her conversion brought her out of drugs? Maybe she's for real. I mean, thick thighs do save lives. She's got a cute body. Like, I like her body. Not that this chat is about her body. That was a really objectifying comment to make while she was, like, literally in crisis. But, I mean, this girl might be crazy, but she dre gets dressed every day. She does her piercings and her makeup and her hair looks good. So my girl might be crazy, but she's able to get ready every day, you feel? So a part of me thinks she can't be that crazy. You know what I mean? I saw a comment that asked me if I would do drugs, medicated or unmedicated. Kate, there you are. Um, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do when I give birth, if I can give birth, if I can get pregnant. But I'm probably going to have to have C-sections. I have, I have problems, bros. So I'm probably going to do two C-sections. Two before 40 and tie my tubes, bitches. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. <sighs> They say the hardest part about going crazy is not knowing if you're crazy and like these years, maybe we're all ghosts, like. Gabby. Yeah, it's all just know. words. You know, she knows. I'm telling you right now, she knows because she just said that out loud. It's all just words. And everybody speaks different languages at different ages. So this is a, I don't know if she went to the wrong therapist. There is a therapy theory out there that there are no mental illnesses and that we shouldn't be diagnosing people with labels. And though that's true, that you shouldn't be like necessarily relying on the labels. Like actually I have a therapist in my life who's not my therapist because they're really, they're family friends so they can't be my therapist anyways. But we discuss ideas a lot about therapy and I talked to them about this after I had already finished therapy. But, um, because he specializes in um, personality disorders. But he was saying that even he doesn't love having labels and though I think that's so helpful for my brain, if I don't have a goal, I'm not gonna do anything. So I like, I need the diagnosis to be like, cool, I have something, let's do something with this. Because otherwise I just won't. You know, like I won't think to eat better. Like if I don't really believe I have lupus, I'm not gonna actually stick to my diets because I will eat my favorite food through the pain. But if I know I have lupus, which could fuck up my kidneys, and if I don't eat right, I could do this. And if I smoke, I could have this. Then my brain's like, now we have to be serious. Gabby got her diagnosis and it still wasn't enough. But she might have heard or have a re has a reinforcing belief within her, which is possible, <laughs> that we're no one sick, that we're all just different. I'm going to say that. Okay, I'm going to say this now. I'm high with a grain of salt. Please don't fucking cancel me. I love my job. <laughs> but this is kind of why I hate when people with autism say autism isn't a mental issue or a problem because we're all just born different. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. But... People with, who have autism, some of them, asterisks, I also read horrible stories about how they're like really big children and like they hurt people. And like I work with a lot of or know a lot of like special ed teachers who have like bruising and scars all over their arms from their kids with autism who threw chairs at them. So like, yes, some people with autism, I think we used to call it high functioning, are fine on their own <laughs> and do great. But some people with who struggle more with their autism, I think we used to call it low functioning. Can it accidentally, not meaning to, kill you, right? So I think we just need to be very open with the idea that you can be someone with a label and it could mean nothing, like you're not even a problem, or you could have someone with a label and it could mean something. And that's what's so scary. I am borderline. So you think it doesn't freak me out to tell people that when literally everyone with borderline gets like pigeonholed into the worst version of people? And it's true, like some borderlines are fucking dangerous. I'm just, and I was diagnosed as high functioning borderline because I could hold down a job and have relationships and I could pay bills and all these things. But that doesn't mean I still wasn't suffering. So that's the other thing. If you're higher functioning, then people ignore you and don't think you struggle. So then when you say you're struggling, they're like, so you're sick. I'm like, no, I'm just in remission, but I'm still struggling to stay in remission because it's always a struggle. And they're like, so you are sick. And I'm like, yes, I am sick, but I'm not as sick as I was before. And even when I was sick, I was still like making money and I had a job and I had a boyfriend and I had life. So people are like, you're not really, it's so fucking exhausting getting better. It is so exhausting. But Gabby isn't even in the beginning stages of realizing she actually needs to know she's sick. So she knew she was sick and 
one way, but not really in another way. So it's like, versus when I went to my therapist and I had been fired, I was like, hey, I got fired from my job. So I think something's wrong. She was like, oh, really? What made you think this was the reason? And I went to the first three sessions with my boyfriend at the time. And he was like, I like how her getting fired from her job is proof something's wrong to her. Not her and all the fights we've been having or all the problems. And that really stayed with me. But to tell you, and I'm pretty high, so I'm ranting. But there is something to be said about you can be in a shitty relationship and it's not because of your mental illness. And you can be in a relationship that's shitty because you're mentally ill. Yeah? Does that make sense? Gabby is in this situation in life. Yes, because she's sick. But also just because she's Gabby. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. I'm so sorry. And we never took the time to just stop and read and understand each other and our history. Man. Kind. Whoa. Man. You guys are boring and dumb. I'm sorry, TikTok. Is that harassment and bullying? I'm sorry, please don't remove this, it's- Candace Owens said that she believes her God gives everybody the perfect struggles cold, to tell their story. Candace, baby, you're an angel. Okay, so Gabby experienced mania and went back into her conservative bubble, got it. Candace, baby, you know God. You know God, baby, don't abuse your power. Don't abuse your power, it's our God, Candace! Our God, and you stuttered when you said it, didn't you? Candace, you stuttered, that's God, and you know it! I know you're laughing too! No, 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 no! Whoa. A Agent Butterfly says, no, not Agent Butterfly, sorry. Who, sorry, I'm getting notifications. What is this? Where did it go? Hold on. Oh, Jasmine says, wasn't there a case, wasn't there that case where the son was raping his mom? I don't know, but I did just read one. It was really sad. These really sweet parents had a really sweet girl and the girl had autism and she was really tall and really big and she didn't mean to, but she like physically like hurt her mother. I think she even broke her arm at one point. She didn't mean to. She's just super fucking autistic <clears throat> and really adorable, but really, really big. And so, God, that's just so hard. It's so hard. Ugh. That's what I'm saying. Like I can't even point, nobody's wrong. Nothing's wrong. <clears throat> I think that's the other thing too. Sorry. Okay. Second rant. My bad. Fuck. Listen. I think there's this thing. There's this thing. Exactly, Indiana. Hold on. We say we want to help the mentally ill and like the handicapped and the disabled and all these things. It is exhausting. When you make your problems other people's problems, you are exhausting. You're a burden, but you're a necessary burden to those people who want you in their lives. A parent who gives birth to a child who's unable, let me rephrase, a Brittany who gives birth to a child who's unable would never be able to see that child as a burden that wasn't the best burden. I would have moments, Indiana Jones, you are my favorite burden. Don't scratch my walls, my favorite burden right here. That does not mean I don't still get stressed with the idea that Indiana makes it, so I have to spend hundreds of dollars repairing homes when I leave because Indiana doesn't know how to be nice to houses. It's a burden I am willing to bear. Sometimes you get to a place in your life where you are not a burden somebody is willing to bear, not even yourself. Maybe that's the rock bottom Gabby needs to hit, is one where not even her not even she is as invested in herself because right now she's invested. She's reading, she's researching, she's trying to reference things. I can tell what she's been reading in my head. I'm like, oh, you read The Secret. Oh, you read this book. You probably saw this documentary. Oh, you probably like saw this part of the Catholicism. So she is taking care of herself right now. It's just in a manic way, but in her head, she's doing the thing. So maybe Gabby needs to get to the point where she realizes like, hey, Gabby, you're too much even for herself. Even for herself, she was too much, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, let's see. Just catching up on comments. Um, 
Recharge strength is no joke. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> Why is that so true? Why is that so true? That's so funny. Fuck. Oh. Oh, oh, that's so funny. Fuck. Indiana putting her two cents. In. Literally, Indiana, she lectures me constantly. Uh, I know. Uh, Bryson, Indiana is your spirit animal. She creates by destroying. I'm telling you. She really does. I love her so much. Nina says, I feel like a lot of people I had. Um, no, I feel like a lot of the problem I had with the mental health discourse online for my own mental health journey was the blind acceptance without a call for change. Totally. They're actually, as I swear to God, as I got better out of borderline, I started to hold myself more accountable and I got ditched. I got ditched, bros, by friends. And I know they're not jealous. I know it's not that. You know what it is? My recovery was triggering to them because it ended up using the same tools all of our fucking conservative parents were trying to give us but didn't even know how to practice themselves. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Be independent. Hold yourself accountable. Like work hard, you know, by the sweat of your brow. All of these things are true for me in my life and the personality that I am. Like that's what I needed to do to be successful. But that doesn't always work for all people and it doesn't always look like our parents are following that all the time. So it's hard for us to swallow. So when I got better, I used that conservative mantra like that Andrew Tate bullshit red pill mantra that does work. Like you got it. You can do this to get where I needed to go. Because that narrative like Stephen and I discussed earlier today that like everything's Doomerville is just so depressing for a borderline suicidal person like me. I don't need any more of it. I know. I know life is hard. So that's why I incorporated optimism into my life three years ago. But I think there's healthy optimism and then yes girl optimism. And we do not want to do yes girl optimism, right girls? We want to do healthy optimism, which is genderless. Okay, Gabby Hanna is in her yes girl optimism phase, which is her trying to take care of herself, which even within her mania is pretty good. So I'm going to give Gabby a little point. Good job, Gabby. I'm glad you're painting and gardening. And I think when you're ready, girlfriend, you'll do what's necessary for the next part, which is like deep breathing, you know. Um, too high to remember if I had a different point with that story gabby you didn't just say candace owens you mean the same lady who spread when the texas uh boom boom happened uh she spread false images of the um, perpetrator claiming that they were trans or the fact that this person also called for the invasion of the country of Australia by the U.S. government because during the pandemic they had some really, really tough uh, COVID restrictions. You mean to tell so me that funny. Candace Owens, Candace who promoted that weird fake. ass, I think it was called like the Freedom Phone or whatever, which turned out to be a scam, essentially a $500 phone with pre-installed apps, including Parler, Rumble. You know the irony of her trying to promote a fraudulent iPhone knock at, knockoff at like $500 while simultaneously <laughs> tweeting from her very own uh, iPhone. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit derailed. This is not a Candace Owens video, although I probably should make an X-Files on her. Did you ever notice how some women just have the easiest pregnancies? They have the easiest pregnancies. True. And they have the easiest births. And they're like, did it hurt? Really? It wasn't that bad. And you're like, that bitch, guess what? That woman knows God. And she knows <laughs> that if something that size feels that good going in, but the going in part is what hurts a little, maybe giving birth is supposed to be the biggest O crowning of your life. Maybe if you breathed and relaxed and weren't anxious about it and had a healthy physical body that you prepared for childbirth and motherhood, maybe it's actually kind of fucking orgasmic. Maybe having babies and making babies is actually what life is all about. Just like nature intended. But human beings got a really sick game since I'm up. See, and now I don't want to be pregnant. See how fast it hits? It's like, I want to have a baby. I want to have a baby. And then I hear Gabby talking about babies, and I'm like, we don't need babies. We're good. You know what my sister asked me the other day? What if we have kids that are ones? I will probably love them the same way I do all my ones. But, like, yeah, sometimes I just, um, uh, yeah, right now I don't have a baby now. See how it switched? She really ruined it for me. She really fucked it up. Actually, uh, if I do have a baby, though, I do want my mom in the delivery room with me. She'll really want to be there. But I saw my little brother being born. 
you're really not thinking about sex, girl. You are really thinking about, holy shit, like, bodies are amazing. But, um, I don't like the association of the baby and the penis. It's just too weird. It's, I just canceled. Uh, let's talk. My first, I'm going to cancel someone. I'm canceling Gabby's sentence. Talk. Cancel. When Jesus was a human being on this earth, he was sent by spirit to teach the people how to use their powers, their healing powers. No, really. No, <laughs> really. I've healed myself of a lot and I've healed others. You could ask and you could help or don't. Who will save your soul if you won't save your own? Na, 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 Jesus. What I feel like Gabby is me if I thought I should have a singing career with our mediocre voices. I'm sorry. I like to sing around the house too, girl. Oh, you don't like your planet? Listen, I'm not trying to talk shit. There's just certain people who are meant to have certain kinds of careers. YouTube singer, bar singer, What's that Spotify DJ singer something? Ariana Grande status. And then people who play cup, like clubs the rest of their lives. And Gabby, I'm not feeling her music. I don't like it. You don't like your planet, so you want to get rid of it? Oh, you didn't like your dog, so you left it on the street? You didn't like your baby, so you killed it? What would Jesus do? Forgive. She looks like someone in my life, and I fucking am getting triggered every time I keep looking over to her. I just don't like it. Oh, uh, how long should I make this clip last? I just keep pausing it because I keep seeing your comments, and I want to read them. Miss Alyssa says, I'd like to think she'll look back on this someday and be embarrassed. I hope in five years when Gabby Hanna's figured it out. Girl, call me. You're Lebanese. I'm Keldian. We're like cousins. But you can't come over yet, Gabby. Because you make me nervous. <laughs> but you can come over in five years when you're chilling. If. Dead ass. No, really. Stop, Z. It's that simple. You. Stop. <sighs> the key to happiness is forgiveness without receiving an apology. It's giving love in the absence of love, which is fear. Wake up or don't. I'm here <clears throat> forever. <laughs> and ever and ever and ever. So are you. <laughs> hey, TikTok. Hey, Gen Z. I got a question for you because <laughs> I can't sleep, <laughs> but I can see. Why are you so excited? Can I just remind everyone, for me at least, for me, Mania and Insomnia are like friends, lovers, lesbian lovers, you would say. And when I, when I don't sleep, <clears throat> oh my God, Steven and Max are still arguing. Are they talking right now? Ugh, drama queens. Anyways, listen. Mania and a lack of sleep. My girl goes to sleep. Goes Accepting to sleep. of the idea of dissociative identity disorder, <sighs> where Little kids decide that they can switch personalities whenever they want and they all have different names and wear different clothes and they have their own little room in the house that you built in your mind and here's how you get to it. <sighs> I feel like someone else now. Did you fucking meditate and create something with your imagination? It's almost as if you create your own reality and because you don't have faith in God and because you didn't just say, God, I'm kind of fucking scared. I believe in you. Will you please only allow me to see what you want me to see? Please only allow me to hear the truth. Please give me clarity. Well, those last few sentences was very reminiscent of my childhood yeah, growing up, you know. Damn. Just have faith. Damn. Believe. I think I've heard ask those exact the Lord, words. Ask the Lord, ask Jesus, me. ask God. 
And yeah. He will only allow you to Lord, see the light. He will see, light. let show you see the way. truth of where you okay. are falling, where you are struggling. Mm. He will put you back mm -hmm. in line, Daniel. I do mm -hmm. want to make it clear that I'm not against people being spiritual, spirituality in general, or even believing in some sort of intelligent design or creator to make yourself <clears> feel <throat> more comfortable. But when you start propagating, when you're telling your audience, this is what you need to do in order to see the truth, it then becomes a dangerous game to play. Because somewhere, someone down that line is going to take what you're saying super seriously. And every person, myself included, are have a, have a responsibility for what we do and say on our platform, regardless of whether our mental health is very, very poor. If that's the case, then you shouldn't be posting frequently on the internet, allowing thousands of fans to worry nonstop mm. about your mental state. That's not fair to your audience. And that's coming from somebody who's been there. I had a mental <laughs> health crisis. When I was what would you just do? Guess like gatekeep, girl boss. <laughs> yes, Nina, let's go. Oh. Uh... Oh my gosh, this is crazy. How to be traumatized in 15 seconds. Mm, yeah, and the lipstick all over the mirror. Y'all are right. What's up with that, yo? Also, wait. Someone said I'm surprised this isn't more triggering. <sighs> for me or for, like, the audience? Because, like, for me, it just, like, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I've been here. You'll be fine. Or you won't. But I don't think she's too far gone that she can't get herself out. I don't think it's psychosis. I still think it's mania. Maybe psychosis, actually. Wait. Does she really believe she... Well, it depends. Because, look, you can technically make your own bubble. You can make your own reality. Um, if you're really rich. <laughs> rich people do it all the time. I mean, some poor people do it, too. But mostly rich people do it. And they do it usually not like Gabby's doing it, though. Gabby's doing it kind of crazy. But, like, rich people kind of do this, but same. Because they know it's money. So you're just like, what can money buy? What world can money create? That's much more grounded than, like, what you imagine is real. So Gabby's choosing the middle class way of creating your own reality. Don't do this, Gabby. Don't do this. I was 19 years of age on this platform. It made me upload a most irresponsible video, no, which I've covered in my, my Repsion files. Me Wait. Who wrote that? Freya. Is Gabby Hannon trying to start a cult? I'm getting cult leader vibes. No, I'm getting cult member vibes. <laughs> I think Gabby's in a cult of her own imagination. I think Gabby is a member of a cult she's created in her head. But she's the only member. But she thinks we're all in on it. But she just needs to tell us we're all in on it because we don't know we're in on it. Me doing something. Could be psychosis. Super